goodbye. Old friends, new money, that's the motto. Sip a little more, get the message out the bado. Don't care if you get mad, free the callo. Probably need some molly, like my heart pill to swallow. Them other girls hollow, they fuck for a follow. Anything to make it, they will beg, steal, and borrow. Botox from the dock, that be paying the bills. Out in Beverly Hills, a place where nothing is real. Some type, and meet me off like, but we can do things that they do in real life, yeah. Sometimes I meet me outside, but we can do things that they do in real life, yeah. We can do things that they do in real life, yeah. You probably think we're so tight. I really hate you sometimes. I hope you live your best life. Or you can watch me live mine. You probably think it's alright. I really hate you sometimes. I'm not pretending we're fine. You don't even see me offline. One more person at this party asked me for some drugs. I'ma give him a hug and say you're doing too much. Why we all in a rush? Why can't we just have fun? Think we really in touch, huh? And then you read up on what happened to Mac Miller. These painkillers numbing the wrong feelings. And nowadays the hospital drug dealing is never what it seems when this dream unfulfilling. Sometime and meet me offline, but we can do things that they do in real life, yeah. Sometime and meet me outside, but we can do things that they do in real life, yeah. We can do things that they do in real life, yeah. You probably think we're so tight. I really hate you sometimes. I hope you live your best life. Or you can watch me live mine. You probably think it's alright. I really hate you sometimes. I'm not pretending we're fine. You don't even see me offline, 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 offline. Hands up, head first, down the slide. Let's make a toast, pour it up over ice. Stop acting like we close. Don't tag me in the post. You can find me in my mind. I don't need to be online. Sometime and meet me offline. But we can do things that they do in real life, yeah. You probably think we're so tight. I really hate you sometimes. I hope you live your best life. Or you can watch me live mine. You probably think it's alright. I really hate you sometimes. I'm not pretending we're fine. You don't even see me offline. <laughs> Don't know why you left me bleeding With a broken heart, tell me if I deserve this feeling I thought that you know That we had something special Till you end up all this way
Hey, hello, hi, welcome. Welcome to a Tuesday night stream at a very reasonable time. <laughs> uh, I would have gone live like a couple hours ago, but Morgan and I had to do a really late night grocery run uh, and that ended up lasting like two hours because we were like, oh shit. Um, with, with us traveling and doing like a bunch of other stuff, like we are completely out of groceries in the house. So we ended up running out and uh, getting like a month's worth of groceries. So now you have me now, you know? I mean, we are called Late Night Gang for a reason. So that's what we're doing tonight. Well, I mean, that's not what you're doing tonight, but that's what we did tonight. Whatever. Anyway, hi. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> LN Grocery Run, yeah. Hello, everybody joining, by the way. So nice to see you all here. Yeah, gotta get the groceries. I mean, yeah, it's one of those things, right, where, like, you have to get groceries. This is, like, while we were out, I was like, oh, man, I'm going to be starting kind of late. I can't believe it. And then we were like, but this is like a once-a-month thing. We barely ever run out for groceries. So, and it's a, nece it's a necessity to have, you know, food in your home. To eat some delicious snacks and foods. We bought a lot of bread and soup because we're bread and soup people. We're, we're big fans of, like, Panera. But it's cheaper to do it at home, you know? Gotta save those dollars during the inflation. Gotta get the snacks, exactly. Hello, everybody joining! Hi! Welcome! Toxic streamer needs food. Yeah, if I was a better streamer, I'd just run off of your donations, chat. I'd just run off of your subs. Every sub fills the streamer's belly. Um, not me, though. I'm built different. Soup. Yeah, soup for my family. It happened. Falcon, enjoy your lurk. I hope that the homework goes well. Hopefully tonight I don't have 55 internet issues. Um, I did, like, power cycle a bunch of my equipment between last stream and this one. Morgan was really struggling with drop frames last night, she said. So hopefully it fixed things because our internet, um, again, I pay for seven or I, I pay for 750 down, 750 up. And uh, today, earlier today, it was, like, 200 down like 70 up and i was like that's not right something funky is going on and like the the ping was like 90 something and i was like that's yeah there's something funky going on and since i reset it it's been better so i hope it was just an equipment like you know signal feed issue on the side of like the actual internet signal 55 internet issues exactly exact i i counted them um, so again, as a streamer, I, I want to make sure that I'm being transparent and accurate as possible. Uh, 55 exactly was the number for the low, low price of five ninety nine per month. You can buy a streamer chicky nuggies. Wait, is our sub, our Twitch subs $6 now? They shouldn't be. Aren't they $5? Am I, am I losing my mind? You might've just pulled the most epic gaslight on me without even meaning to. Are they $6? I thought they were $5. It's 5 bucks to sub someone, right? If I, like, gift the community... Yeah, four ninety nine. it says right here. 10 subs is, is $49.90. A app... Oh, it's for the mobile people. Okay. Um, I can't remember who it was the last stream. I'm not even on screen. What am I doing? Uh, <laughs> Hello. Hey, well, welcome to a late Tuesday. Hey, how are we doing? Hi. Hey. Um, Yeah, okay. So, if you can... Uh, either, yeah, don't gift on mobile, don't resub on mobile, don't buy subs on mobile. Um, because Jeff Bezos does not deserve those dollars, and I am not getting, I, I'm not getting more for a higher, like, sub price, unless you're doing, like, a tier 2 or tier 3. So, uh, what I would do, yeah, go to, go to Twitch on desktop in your phone. Nettles Marie, I think you were the one, actually, who shared this tip last stream. But if you want to make sure that you're only paying $4.99 and not getting ripped off that extra dollar every month, I mean, hey, $12 is $12. That's like a nice little treat at the store for yourself. You might be like, ah, it's only an extra buck a month. But, like, if you go to the desktop uh, version of a browser on your phone, or if you just go onto your, like, PC or laptop or whatever and log on and do it that way, you will save a little bit of money. And you have that $12 to buy, like, you know, 12 of your favorite candy bars or whatever. Yeah, never from mobile. It goes to Google or Apple. Yeah, that's that's the other thing, too, is if you... Um, yeah, it doesn't go to Jeff Bezos, so I misspoke there. But if you are re-upping your sub or gifting subs or even directly subbing from mobile, 
Uh, that extra dollar goes to like whichever mobile store, Google or Apple, is hosting the app. Uh, because that's just like part of the end user agreement that those companies have to en enter in with. So, quick little tip. If you want to save your money and you don't give a shit about which company is, you know, profiting or whatever like that. Uh, you don't have to let those companies profit that extra dollar from you every month. So that is how we save money during inflation, everybody. Hopefully that's a good tip. <laughs> I was so confused when Ecto wrote $5.99. I was, I was like, wait, did it? Did Amazon like announce today they're raising the price of subs? Because I was going to be angry. I was about to go on a rant. I was about to, Or, hey, there we go. McManiac's got Prime. That's the other way. Just making sure my sub street doesn't tend. Thank you, McManiac. Thank you so much. 25 months using Prime here. I appreciate that a lot. I know you only get one of those a month. Thank you for using it here. If you have Amazon Prime, you might not even know this. Twitch Prime exists. You get that for free every month with your Amazon Prime subscription. And you can use it to support your favorite streamers. Me. <laughs> me and me. Uh, I'd say it's especially important for bits. Apple basically charges double what it is on desktop. I actually did not know that, Nettles Marie. Because I've never bought bits off of desktop before. So that's actually a great tip. Thank you so much. Again, you've been the voice of reason about this stuff the past two streams. I appreciate you a ton for that. Uh, very unrelated. Yeah, that's fine. We can move on to a different <laughs> subject. Uh, I cleaned my PC tonight, and now when I open it, it shuts down 30 seconds and start up. I'm going to cry. Hopefully my friend can fix it tomorrow, but I need hugs to not have a panic attack over this. Zeppelin, I'm so sorry to hear that that was going on there with your PC. That's not very good. Yeah, I mean, it could be that you just, like, knocked a RAM stick loose or something while you are cleaning. I don't know how much experience you have cleaning PCs, but they are very sensitive, but also at the same time... You know, there's lots of little things that can happen that are not catastrophic, that um, seem catastrophic, that are easily fixable. I hope it's one of those for you. I really do. Every time you use your Prime, you give Amazon 17 cents. Or every day you don't use your Prime, you give Amazon. I, I got to learn how to read here. Thank you. Yeah, Nat, exactly. You don't want to waste your Prime. You don't want to waste your Prime. You don't want Jeff Bezos to get more free money. You might as well use the perks. The other thing I like about Amazon Prime besides giving you Twitch Prime, is you also get access to, like, Amazon Video, which everyone knows about uh, Prime Video. You know, you can watch, you know, exclusives on there and, like, all the movies and stuff. This is not a shill for Amazon, by the way. This is just a reminder because I'll sometimes forget these, uh, these features exist as well. But there's that, and then there's also uh, the um, Prime Music. Like, Amazon Music is a actually, like, kind of, it, it pops off. There's like a lot of music on Amazon Music that you get for free with your, your uh, Amazon subscription. And books! Yeah, that's the other... I use Prime Reading all the time, cutie. I literally have so many free books on my Kindle because of it. So, yeah. On mobile, 500 bits is $10. On desktops is 7 Holy shit, that's a ripoff! That is wild! Wow, thank you for letting me know, Nettles Marina. All the other kind people here. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. I just showed my best friend inside for the first time. And I tried not to judge him too much because obviously it's a very emotional uh, thing. If you've never seen the special before, it's really good. Definitely recommend Bo Burnham's Inside. Um, but I showed him that for the first time. Morgan and I showed him that the first time the other day on Saturday. And uh all eyes on me man what a banger what a great song i definitely cried the first time i watched that uh but i looked over during it and he kept like sort of turning slightly in my direction and he just looked like like the, well the life was note. like draining from it because that's like that's one of the game. best like legitimately one of the best like examples again of like public mental health you know type of stuff versus creative drive uh i've struggled with that I mean, obviously not to the degree that Bo Burnham has, but, like, I've definitely had that issue in my life multiple times of uh, mental health versus creative drive and stuff. So really, really cool way to feel seen as a creator. If you're an artist, musician, comedian, uh, creator, like, Twitch streamer, whatever, like, you should definitely see that special. It's pretty good. Um, yeah. Yeah, and video to watch episodes with the community. Exactly, yeah. Prime video for uh, those watch parties we do. That's another good benefit of those, absolutely. Um, so, yeah. I don't have much experience because I'm uh, always scared I'll fuck things up. I think that um, computer culture, especially like PC trad nerds, have definitely oversold how like easy uh, it is to mess up a computer and like how sensitive stuff is. Like, There's definitely some stuff you got to be really 
fucking careful about. Like, anytime you open up your computer case, this should be kind of a no-brainer, but, like, make sure your PC is actually unplugged from, like, the wall. Uh, maybe step on, like, something that grounds you, like, a piece of cardboard so that you don't accidentally static shock your fucking motherboard. That Those are, like, pretty common sense things. Don't put water anywhere on the internal components of your computer. Outside of that, it's kind of hard to fuck up stuff. They're they're built to be kind of durable parts in there. Like, I mean, they, you're spending thousands of dollars to build a PC. They better be fairly durable. Flame Burp, thank you for the 10 months, by the way. Appreciate that a lot. Might as well use the sub notification to mention Prime Gaming. Sometimes that's good for games. They do, yeah. And you get, like, exclusive rewards and stuff uh, a lot of the times. Um, like, cosmetics and, and uh, like, currencies and stuff like that in the games uh, through Prime Gaming. I've, I've, found a, I've downloaded a shit ton of Prime Gaming for free. A um, lot of good games. Inside came out when I was writing my master's thesis and it was an experience. I watched it like 20 times during that. I mean, great use of your time, honestly, and probably very inspiring. Rewatching it again, I was like, damn, what a good reminder that there's like a limited amount of time that I have on this earth to get stuff done that I want to get done and create stuff and share it that I want to create and share. And then also on top of that, like, just, I'm always going to be grateful for what I have. Like, this is a very bizarre, wild ride that I am on as a full-time creator. The fact that I've gotten to do this for over half of a decade is just unbelievable. It doesn't feel real. It's very, very surreal uh, to live the type of life that I live. So um, it's always a nice reminder just to you know stay grounded, stay humble, that kind of thing. I think that's all very, very, very uh, like important stuff. Kajivara, thank you so much for uh, letting us know you're lurking. I hope you enjoy your lurk. Um, but yeah, uh, you thought I, I cried when I heard the Jeffrey Bezos song. I mean, I mean, I almost cried of laughter the first time I heard it because that God, those are the types of songs I make when I'm just walking around like the kitchen in my underwear. Hey, what's up, Kels? Welcome to the stream. It was more like me and Bo Burnham's having a simultaneous mental breakdown. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I'm good with all that. My PC was completely unplugged. I didn't touch any components aside from my fans. I think I might have just plugged them back in the wrong spot or something. Seems like an overheating issue. Yeah, I mean, it could be, um, you know, sometimes when you crack open your computer, uh, your cooling unit gets a little bit loose. It could be just you need more thermal paste in there. Any number of things can cause overheating and sudden shutdown. My big thing that always happens to me is I almost inevitably knock a ram stick and then because it's not seated fully in there it ends up you know doing like the quick little shutdown because it thinks there's like a corrupted ram stick or whatever so hopefully it's something just small like that um xander what's up hey wh welcome to the stream hello everybody again i know i'm starting here late on a tuesday but it's nice to have so many familiar faces in the chat appreciate all of you here uh i've been rambling long enough so you guys know what time it is it's good news time if you have any good news, it doesn't have to be anything huge. As long as it's something that makes you happy and that we can all comfortably enjoy together, please feel free to share your good news here in the chat. It can be something as simple as, hey, I haven't been like cooking for myself recently. I was eating out a lot and it made me feel like kind of sad. But today I cooked myself like a nice homemade meal and it made me happy. That's good news to me. Any amount of progress is good progress. We love hearing about it here. I hope that other people here in the community are lifting you up, congratulating you and supporting you. Um, anyone who's a regular here, you know that's just how we do. We are always here with our energy full force uh, for each other because all of you matter a lot. All of you are great, and you need that reminder. So, hey, what's up, Twilight? Welcome to the stream. Hello. And yes, as Nuray just uh, used the tonight command, if you don't know, we are doing wiki adventures tonight. Uh, people have been asking me to do this for a while. Um, I'm not going to do it with any timer or anything, but if you've never heard of Wiki Adventures, it's when I start on a random Wikipedia page, and then just using the links in the article, I have to get to other Wikipedia pages that those links will eventually lead me to the end destination Wikipedia article. Um, so it's a, like a fun way to just test like if you're good at like navigating websites and it's a cool way to see a bunch of random facts from different Wiki Wikipedia pages. Uh, just it's, it's cool. It's going to be fun. People have been wanting me to do this for a bit. So it should be a good time. Tw pizza's here? Hell yeah. I hope you enjoy that. I hope you really enjoy that, Evie. I started my new job yesterday and so far it seems super awesome. Gee, nowhere. Let's go. That's awesome. I don't have to wait for 90 uh, days for benefits. You have benefits on the 15th? That is so cool because definitely not every job does that. That is fantastic to hear. Good news, I took a nap earlier. Hey, love a good nap. As long as it's not a death nap, then it's excellent when you actually get refreshed. 
Uh, good news is we started a new puzzle at work today. Yes, we have a puzzle table at work. Oh my god, more work places should have that. It would, like, zen people out more, I think. After finishing the most difficult puzzle I have ever done, which is a photo of the moon. You know what you guys should try for, like, the hardest, uh, puzzle in the world? Is that all-white puzzle. I feel like that is meant to drive people over the edge. But I kind of want to try it at some point. I think whenever I set up, like, a hand cam on stream to build like legos and models and stuff because i still have that lego of the venom head from falcon i want to build on stream i just don't have the setup for it yet uh i might buy the all white puzzle to try to put together on stream i think that would be absolutely unhinged content i would probably it'd just be you watching me go mad over the course of however long it took it would be bo burnham's inside except it's me putting together a puzzle on stream so i think that would be kind of fun Good news is that I think that I did pretty well on my physics exam today and pretty feel pretty good with my anatomy exam tomorrow. Hey, let's go, Kajibara. You've been studying so hard. I'm so proud of you. That's amazing. My good news is I have a Gojo figure on the way. Hell yeah. The boy. Oh my god. Freaking Gojo. Infinity. God, what a, what a freaking pretty boy, too. Like, if you guys have fallen out with anime recently, you're like, oh, all the characters look generic and, they, you know, all the anime suck and stuff. Uh, Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen, even though he's not my favorite character in the show, although he's up there, is such a fucking pretty... Like, his design, he's so pretty. Go watch just for the visuals. Um, good news, my blood sugar has been high lately, and I've been working with my doctor on it. Today, my number has been in my target range. Hey, Flame Burp, that must be a really nice peace of mind for you. Wonderful to hear. Love hearing that for you. Um, I'm sure that your doctor is going to just keep doing more and more and more for you so that you start feeling more confident about your health moving forward. Love to hear that. Uh, good news is my car is finally repaired and working great. Hell yeah! That's wonderful. It was in the garage for two days. Glad to have my baby back. Yeah, it's all, I always get tons of anxiety when like I am like, oh, I got to take my like car in and it, it's going to take like longer than a day. My good news is I got to be in a queer mosh pit last night. Yo, that's fun. Does everyone have their emergency but Corey, hello, hi, yeah. Does everyone remember your buddy from the buddy system? I hope so. I hope that you do. Because, uh, you know, last stream was a little bit of a disaster with the buddy system. Some of you were missing your buddies. Some of you apparently don't even remember the buddy system. What, what's up with that? What is up with that? I thought that we had a connection here, Chad. I thought that you held on to every word that I said and that you believed in what I said and that you, you wanted to support what I said. What the heck's up with that, huh? <laughs> good news i finally caved and bought some earplugs that are meant to help me block out background noise to help me focus and avoid overstimulation. that's great i actually you know it's funny um so we were in walmart doing grocery shopping earlier tonight and i turned to morgan because i saw someone with a full headset on walking around doing their grocery shopping um and they saw us in the aisle and they like turned their cart around and i was like oh they probably just got overstimulated they got like you know noise canceling headphones on and like they immediately like, turned around when they saw us in the aisle so you know probably someone like me who has like some neurodivergent issue where it's just like you don't want to be around people and overstimulated and i was like oh shit i forgot my earbuds because like that was what i was gonna try i was gonna bring one of my airpods and just have one airpod in while i walked around the grocery store so i could just like sort of zone and zen a little bit so that i don't get so overwhelmed because i get so overwhelmed these days grocery shopping I don't know why. I just, I don't like all the noise and the just people running into me and crap. Silver, thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Thank you for gifting a sub to Sephirical. That's so cool of you. Uh, Sephirical, if you are here, please make sure that you're saying thanks to Silver. Uh, please, please also enjoy the emotes and the sub badge. Welcome on in as a sub. Thank you very, very much. That's so cool of you. One billion, what up? Hello. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate you being here. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those things I highly relate with that McManiac. 100%, I hope that those are a huge quality of life improvement for you. Like, seriously. Hey, what's up, Chaotic? Hey, hello. Hi, everyone joining. I'm so sorry that I'm missing so many names. There's a lot more of you here in the beginning of the stream than I'm used to. Thank you for joining. It's so nice to have you all here. You're beautiful, wonderful people, and I hope that we have a good time tonight. I know I started late, but we're gonna do the Wikipedia thing that you guys have been wanting me to do for... I don't know, months, a year now, something, some amount of time. Time's not real. I could say any amount of time, and I'm right every single time, right? <laughs> uh, for those of you just coming in, we are doing uh, good news right now. So if you have good news, feel free to share it. 
would love to read as much of the good news as I can. If I've missed your good news, feel free to repeat it in chat. As long as you're not like super hyper spamming it, that's a-okay. And people in chat, again, reminder, make sure that you are celebrating each other's good news and congratulating each other, encouraging each other on your good news. All here just vibing. Yeah, hell yeah, on a Tuesday night, too. Thank you for being here. All of you are wonderful. Yahoo Wikipedia race. Yeah, it's going to be um, Wikipedia race, but I'm not going to actually race a clock because, like, I, I, I can't handle that pressure. Not after grocery shopping. My, my, <laughs> my anxiety bubble has already, like, you know, shrunk around me and is, like, threatening to, like, suffocate me, so I can't, I can't do that. I can't fight the timer tonight. Maybe we'll do speed runs uh, in a future stream, but this is just to get, get the gist of it, basically, for me and the community. Uh, good news, gonna go get bubble tea with friends on Monday. Vintage, that sounds like so much fun. Oh my god. Morgan and I keep meaning to try this new bubble tea he place near us, and I, we just, old. we keep forgetting. Um, which is like, yeah, I, I don't want to keep forgetting. I want to go and get bubble tea, because bubble tea freaking rules. Good news, my hard drive's coming tomorrow. Yo, eight terabytes? Corey, you really treated yourself for your birthday. That's amazing. Enjoy never having to worry about space again. Damn. <laughs> Nettles Marie, thank you for the gift and sub to Sarah. Sarah, enjoy the emotes and the sub badge. Make sure you are saying thank you to Nettles Marie. Thank you to both of you for being people here who are just regularly hanging out. Thank you so much for being regulars in the community. I don't know why I said it that way the first time. Probably because I'm just absolutely zapped from today. <laughs> uh, good news, my dad is hiring me for one of the photo shoots he's doing, and it's for a dog show? You get to hang out with dogs, and your dad is paying you on top of that, which is Wildflowers. Have an amazing time. That's great. Uh, emergency buddy, thank you. Oh, my gosh. There we go. We got someone, someone finally honoring the emergency buddy system. Uh, I was on. It was on sale for only $100. That's a really freaking good deal. Do you mind if I ask what brand it was? Because I've been in the market for one, and I don't want to keep buying Seagates because I've had three of them crash over the past 10 years, and I have lost those memories forever. Except, I mean, I could always go to a data recovery center, but a lot of that was just like old uh, old files I didn't really need anymore anyway. Uh, good news, I styled my first wig and it actually turned out okay. Lesbian? Hell yeah, Kia. I'm, wigs are so weird, right? Because like, there's Lesbians. definitely a sliding scale on the quality of them. You guys know I own a million cosplay wigs. I don't normally use them because I actually just like to style my hair cute anyway when I do like cosplays and stuff. But I have had so many wigs that are just absolute dog shit, like the Aerith wig for the Final Fantasy VII Aerith uh, cosplay that I did. That was one of the worst wigs I think I've, I've ever had, which really stinks because it was a gift. That whole cosplay was a gift from a member of the community from my throne wish list. Um, but like, yeah, some of them you have to like have them sit out and use like dry shampoo product on them or wash them or style them, blow dry them, curl them, whatever, like straight, use a straightener on them, like just a million things on them. And it, it's always like a pain in the butt, you know, it's always a pain in the butt to do all of that process. So it's great to hear that the wig styling is going well. We've had to cut a couple, Morgan and I have like trimmed some, it, it just... It's a, it's a whole process. It's more than just plopping it on your head and being like, there, I'm cute. Silver, thank you for the gifted sub, by the way, to Portabella. Portabella, if you are here, make sure you are saying thank you to Silver. Enjoy the emotes and the sub badge. That's really nice of you. Thank you so, so much. Um, Morgan News, I got glasses today so I can finally see stuff. Hell yeah. It's always good to be able to see stuff. Black beauty shops have the best wigs. You know, Phoenix, um, 100% right. Uh, we have so many local wig shops around here in Rochester, and they always have, like, the highest quality wigs, but the thing is, is I'll go in, and I'll be like, how much is that wig? And it'll be, like, $98, and I'll be like, ooh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hold off, but that's, like, the dream, you know? And they're always so nice, because a lot of them are, like, human hair wigs, too. That's the other thing. Uh, it was Seagate. I've had a lot of good luck with them myself. A Seagate Barracuda. Oh, okay, so the Barracuda actually is, um, I, I have an internal Barracuda drive. Uh, that's like, or I think whatever the internal version of the Barracuda is. That's like really good. Uh, the Barracuda is actually one of their better products. That is one of the more reliable ones. And that one has a really good warranty on it as well. So you should be fine with that one, Corey. I didn't mean to worry you or anything. It's the like extra big ones that are, um, there's a, it's a certain grade. I forgot the model, but they're not like super great. Uh, it's the same with like Western Digital, right? If you buy like a Western Digital Black, like there's a good chance that like you're, stuff is going to be backed up and fine forever 
and it, it, there's like very low data loss with those but then if you're buying like the budget western digital a lot of the times like you do risk it a little bit so yeah uh good news i was feeling some serious artistic block and i was actually inspired today and started drawing something nixie heaven that's a wonderful piece of good news i love hearing when creatives get that like that spark again right because here's my thing i've said this a million times anyone who's been here for a while has heard me say this but thank you so much silver for those hundred bits uh that's what you've probably heard before as well from me but thank you silver that's really really nice um those of you who get like writer's block uh art block whatever block like some creative block uh a lot of the times it's really easy to fall into those habits where you're like oh man i must just be washed up i must suck uh i'm never gonna get that passion back i'm never gonna get like my creative inspiration back like oh man everything blows um i might never make like something that i love again um but i uh, the passion is always there under the surface like most of the time i'd say the passion is still there under the surface it's just in the moment the inspiration might not be there the energy level might not be there or some other component the passion is always going to live there and it's always going to be ready to go so when that second component or third component locks into place boom it's just going to be pedal to the metal and you're going to be like oh shit it's like riding a bike this is easy i'm back to it i rule and you do rule you're kicking ass that's awesome i love hearing those types of stories because i think that's a nice inspiration and reminder to people who like I definitely go through moments of creative burnout and i'm like i'm never gonna make anything i like again um so that's a, such a nice reminder thank you for sharing that uh i just bought a western digital six terabyte nice yeah no those are really nice they're very very good units uh i bought it from newegg yeah newegg okay so newegg has like some of the best policies for like returns and uh definitely does a lot of research into like what are quality products so if you're you're getting the Barracuda. The Barracuda is really good. Uh, if you're going to go Western Digital, yeah, Western Digital Black units are really nice. Uh, stuff like that. Very good stuff. So, yeah. Uh, McMinnick, hey, that's okay. You can't control that kind of thing. Sometimes you're just not feeling the vibe. Um, but take care. Thank you so much for, for chilling. Uh, good news. I met up again with the guy I mentioned the other night. I met his cat, Bert. Oh, my God. Listen, cat dads already a leg above the competition hell yeah i'm so glad that you got to do that lord martini that's wonderful it's very very wonderful thankfully india avoided tornadoes but north and south of Indy got hit oh no yeah that's i i know that a lot of i have a ton of friends in that area so i was hearing all about like the tornado alley stuff going on i hope that everyone's staying safe as possible so uh good news repost i got my official practicum offer and i'm still vibrating with excitement from the news hell yeah let's go sarah that's huge news that's amazing. You've worked really freaking hard for that. That is incredible. I really, really hope that um, you you really are patting yourself on the back for that kind of thing. Because that, I mean, not everyone gets that kind of offer. Not everyone gets that kind of opportunity. That is incredible. Great job. Um, yeah, and thank you to everyone. Uh, anytime any member of our community is feeling down or anything, you guys are so great about lifting each other up. Uh, McManiac, no one takes that personally that you're feeling antisocial. Go get some great rest. You deserve it. Sometimes just a good night's rest is all that we need to turn a day around. So go take care of you. Know that we'll all be thinking of you and supporting you. I just need to figure out what to look for uh, for an uninterruptible power source. Ooh, yeah. That's a little bit harder. Uh, and that's definitely going to put you back a little bit more as far as money goes. Um, but, yeah. There's a lot of options out there, especially through, like, New Egg and stuff now. Um, I don't know if I mentioned here, but I pre-ordered myself the Tears of the Kingdom Switch. Yo, no, Twilight, you were talking about how excited you were about it, but I don't think that you mentioned that you actually got the Switch. That's awesome. I hope you enjoy the hell out of it. Uh, from all the gameplay footage I've watched of the new Tears of the Kingdom stuff, this game's gonna freaking rock. It's gonna be so fun. Uh, that's an amazing thing to treat yourself with. That's great. Good news, I've received so much love, help, and support in both this community and in my day-to-day -day life. Someone offered to tie my hair into a pony for me today. It made me... Oh, Silver, that's so wonderful. Listen, as someone who is also not great, I, at, like, I am a, I am someone who, like, when I want to tie my hair up, I need to ask Morgan for help because I'm just not good at it. I'll, like, miss whole sections of my hair or I'll pull it back, like, at the wrong angle or whatever um morgan helps me out and it always makes me feel so nice whenever she helps me put my hair up so that's very very nice um so excited and can't wait to crack it open and immediately pre-order the game hell yeah no that's awesome that's so cool that's an excellent piece of good news very good stuff uh we rarely get good gaming news here um so i always love hearing about people who are getting excited about upcoming games or whatever um me 
My my good news is uh, I recently was offered a really cool offer from a very large company uh, that uh, works with a, a small little indie game you might have heard of called Destiny 2. Um, and the thing about it, though, is I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to take the offer, uh, which is fine because it means that the door is, it, from what I've talked to with the reps, uh, the door is not closed. If I'm like, hey, I can't, can't take on this offer, there's going to be some future ones as well. Uh, but I did put up a tweet earlier today that did not get a, a lot of engagement, and I put up an announcement on the Discord that did not get a lot of engagement about Destiny 2. I don't think we have that many Destiny 2 Guardians here in the community, which is fine. Everyone likes their own games. It's one of those games that, you know, isn't the easiest to get into. I get it. Absolutely understandable. It's massive. There's so much content. Some people feel drowned by it, etc. Um, but uh, it is an offer that was extended to me. And that means that there's going to be future opportunities uh, for me to be able to interact with this company, which is really cool. So I'm happy about that. Uh, very, very happy about that. <laughs> me playing Destiny right now. Awesome. By the way, um, I know you DM'd me last night about if I had caught up on the seasonal stuff. Uh, I did. Obviously, they just dropped the, you know, the final week of of the season stuff or whatever. Um, but I am very, very, very excited to test that out tonight as well. Um, but I did finally catch up on the, all the other stuff last night. And I was like, God, the, the one story moment, which I will not spoil for anyone who actually does play, even though there's apparently only like 12 of you in the community that do, but there was a story beat that I was just like, <gasps> like when it happened and Morgan was streaming. Cause it was last night. It was while she was streaming. I hit that part. I cried so hard. I didn't. I didn't cry super hard because again, I Morgan was streaming and I would have been like <laughs> in the background while she was streaming. Um, but when it happened, I did do like a little bit of a <gasps> like that. And I was so worried that people in Morgan's stream could hear it. But I was just like, did that, did that actually happen? Mm. Uh, I will say that how rushed the plot beat was again trying to be as vague as possible to not ruin anything but how rushed the plot beat was and the character development and stuff like that it did feel a little bit predictable it didn't feel as impactful as i wanted it to be but also on top of it like very fucking big moment in the lore absolutely so my boyfriend tells me the seasonal story i play super late oh well i mean hey that you guys are experiencing it together in some capacity right I played that bit la uh, the week Lance Riddick passed, so it was rough. Oh my god, Jesus. Yeah, that is, uh, ooh, uh, the wombo combo right there. That's no fun. No fun at all. Uh, anyway, before I delve into it too much and accidentally give away what happened for anyone who's still playing the game, um, those of you who did chime in about the Destiny 2 post, uh, please know this is not the last time I'll get an opportunity from Destiny 2 to work with them. Um, but, uh, we're probably going to do a pass on this specific opportunity just because it does require a ton of community, um, interaction, uh, but it also requires some knowledge of the destiny universe to participate in. So because we're going to have really low numbers from the initial, like sort of canvassing that I've been doing, uh, probably going to pass on that opportunity for this just because I want it to be a worthwhile business investment for, uh, destiny as well. Um, but I, and I'm just being clear about this stuff because I'd rather be as transparent about every step of, you know, my sponsorship and, uh, brand deal process as I, I can be legally. Um, I always like to be as transparent, even if I have to remain vague. So thank you for the feedback. Uh, it's nice to know. I did find out that there was a number of people in the community who play destiny that I wasn't even aware of. So that was kind of cool. Um, but those of you who are out there. We'll have more opportunities, I promise you. It's going to be, a, it will be very cool whenever it actually comes to fruition. Rookie, hey, so good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Hello. I think uh, part of the way that I can definitely expose more of the community to Destiny is just stream more Destiny. So maybe Selfish Sundays, I'll do more Destiny 2 streams. Or just for fun anyway, because like I, I freaking love Destiny 2. Uh, I play like a crap ton of it. Best of luck <laughs> to you and Destiny 2 Futures. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I wish I knew more, but I only see what you have played. Totally understand. That's okay. Again, it's a huge game. Yeah, it's it, it's like Austin said. It's eight and a half years of lore and content. 
So even, and the nice thing about these offers that are coming through, because this is actually the second one I've gotten from, uh, or actually technically third offer I've gotten th from Destiny, is, uh, by the way, Nuray, thank you for the gifted sub to Brookie. That's so nice. Brookie, enjoy your emotes and your sub badge again. Thank you so, so much. Nuray, that's so kind of you. Thank you, everybody. Man, we're at 13 subs of the 100 sub goal already in the month. Month just started. Thank you. That's really cool of everyone. Um... Yeah, can we get a little bit... Well, while I just uh, freaking wax poetic about Destiny, can we get some hype? Can we get some uh, pride spam in the chat? Just for all the support, all the good news that's come through so far tonight. All of the good vibes. Uh, Morgan has been telling me that recently my positivity has felt very infectious, so I'm happy to hear that because uh, you guys know I, I've been going through struggles over the past year. And recently, I don't know what clicked, but something in the streams, something in the content, something with the way that I interact with the community, something just clicked. And it's not that you guys, like, haven't ever, like, been appreciated by me before. If anything, I try to make it very clear how much I appreciate you, and I've done that for 10 years. But, like, I really, really, like, lately, streams have felt so good. I don't know what it is. It's been so fun being here with all of you, hanging out having a good time like thank you so much Th this has been a dream job for me this has been a dream way of like just sharing a part of my personality with the world and all of you are here supporting that like god thank you so very much Nuray, thank you so much for the gifted sub the chaotic chaotic enjoy the emotes and the sub badge thank you so much everybody thank you to everyone who's uh gifting and being gifted subs having like people here who are are just proud members of the community <laughs> <laughs> We're far and really loud. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm sitting here being sincere. Uh, what what else could I expect from this community? Um, <laughs> make me laugh, streamer. God damn it. Or I'm going to make chat laugh with some farts. Uh, thank you so much, Nare. That's really kind of you uh, for gifting those subs, though. And, and the people getting them, um, a lot of you have been regulars here for a while. I hope that you know how much you're appreciated as well very clearly by the kind gestures of other members of the community um but yeah with the destiny 2 stuff uh yeah there's there's gonna be future opportunities and stuff but it is a huge game i totally understand that that some people are like intimidated by it um but the nice thing about these opportunities is you don't have to currently play the game uh to enter into some of these opportunities because there's like some giveaways uh for some of them so if you're uh i'll give a little bit of a teaser for and again i'll probably not do this first one but again there's going to be some other opportunities down the line i'm aware of um but if you're someone who's like man i've always wanted to try destiny 2 or i've tried like the free to play and it just like it's just the bones of the game there's not very much content um i will say that this most recent expansion lightfall might have a couple keys swirling around uh that the people the kind people of destiny were um willing to part with whenever i pulled the trigger on doing some sort of uh curated contest type thing that they want to do and it is again one of those things where to participate you don't even need to play the game currently but if you're someone who's like well i watch you know youtubers and twitch streamers uh play it or like my my partner plays it for me and i know a lot and i'm interested in the story or like yeah i i don't really play the game very much or i used to but i do like fan art of it or like i'd like to cosplay some of the characters or whatever or uh if you're like yeah i play like very casually but like damn my guardian's got some sick drip i got like the coolest armor set um there are opportunities for, to participate in some the of these outward. future uh Lesbians. things and some very exclusive items that you might only be able to get through me and other content creators so that is all i'm going to say that is all i'm going to say uh twilight thank you oh my god that's so nice of you thank you so much twilight for a gifted sub to maggie has some cats maggie if you are here make sure you're saying thanks to twilight enjoy the emotes and the sub badge thank you so so much marasov is so <laughs> that's enough for me to be interested she is everyone calls her uh the awoken queen mommy so that is absolutely fine she is the destiny mommy for sure um even though games like Overwatch and Destiny aren't up my alley and games I play, I still really enjoy watching them, and the lore is so interesting. Yeah, learning the story stuff is fun. So, yeah. Uh, I'd watch, but I would root everyone else on for the cool swag. I mean, that's absolutely Excuse fine. Me? Excuse me? Mommy? <laughs> oh, Sorry. my God. Mommy? She is such a mommy Sorry. in the game. Mommy? My Sorry. God. Especially mommy? this season. Sorry. 
I had someone um, say to me the other day that they thought that like for the price of Lightfall, the content is very disappointing. And I wanted to be like, you realize we have like nine, like I'm not like a, yeah, a corporate price tag defender. Like, yeah, it does cost a lot of money to buy video games. But we have like n at least nine months more of content on the way. This would be like reading the first chapter of a book and being like, yep, book sucks. Whole thing sucks. Whole thing is the worst book I've ever read. Like, <laughs> like, you don't know yet. You have read the first chapter of the book. Like, we literally just got, like, a little spoonful of content. Yeah, that was kind of annoying. Some of the story beats are, like, a little bit corny or, like, weird or rushed or whatever. But I, there, we got, like, nine months, the majority of a year of content left on the horizon. It's, it's coming up. There's a lot of stuff left that we don't have to pay more money for because it's already built into the freaking expansion pack, you know? Um... I've returned with some homestyle chicken noodle soup. Ooh, that sounds good. I bought uh, a bunch of chicken noodle soup while I was at the store today because I was like, man, that just sounds like it's going to slap. Sounds like it's going to hit exactly right. Uh, I just finished having spaghetti and I'm stuffed. Oh, my God. I also really wanted pasta tonight, but I didn't um, do that. I made myself a very nice sandwich, though. So uh, every time I ask my boyfriend a single small question about Destiny, he goes off on a whole very long tangent monologue, and one of them was the whole history of the Awoken, and I like Mara even more. Oh my god. It, bless him for sharing that with you, because that is a very important piece of the lore. Uh, <laughs> look at all those chickens. Oh my god. All the chickens. Thank you again for all those gifted subs, all the kindness tonight already. Everyone's so cool. Thank you so much for chilling with me. Um... I know I go off on long tangents about shit that, like, maybe, like, 0.2% of you care about. But the fact that any of you want to, like, even just sit here and hang around and listen to me talk about stuff I'm excited about, you're awesome for that. That's really kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the problem is when the tangent doesn't answer my question. <laughs> That's fair. But um, I will say that nothing in Destiny is as simple as it seems. There is always a roundabout way to get to that answer. And there's going to be some distractions on that road trip along the way. You are going to have to stop and see the world's biggest egg or something like that on the side of the road in Tennessee. You know, like, I, it's just going to happen when you explain any smidgen of de Destiny lore, for sure. So, I'm right there with you, with your boyfriend. Um, M. Egg? <laughs> I mean, are you? Are you, are, are all of you, uh, are y'all cracking? He only likes her because she's old. She's probably. Namiria, thank you so much for 20 months. That's a long time. What the heck? Thank you very, very much. That's so cool of you. Thank you for sticking around so long. Anzu Frog, what's up? Hello, hi. Where's that giant ball, uh, ball of twine? Yeah, where's the giant ball of twine? Where's the world's largest ball of twine? Maybe we'll run into it in uh, Wikipedia tonight. We'll see. Uh, again, if you don't know uh, what we're up to tonight, you can always use the tonight command. Yeah, largest skillet. I want to see, like... I saw, like, one of those when I was a kid. Like, one of the, like, weird, like, like largest thimble or something like that. I can't remember. I was way too young to, like, internalize it or care about it. I just remember we were out in, like, Arizona. Um, even if something's, uh, don't, oh, wait. Even if sometimes I don't fully know a topic that we're talking about, it's really nice seeing you and members of the chat being so passionate about it. Hell yeah, right? Let people enjoy things. It's one of those things. Long time no see. How's everyone been? Hey, you know, we're, we're doing good. We're just vibing tonight. Uh, we're about to get started with some wiki adventure, which would be pretty fun. Um, but yeah, welcome. Welcome on in. It's nice to have you here. And Destiny, it's in one of the exotic missions. Um, yeah. <laughs> the exotic the exotic missions, um, you get to see some really huge set pieces and landmarks for sure. Uh, that would definitely make people go, oh, we got to stop. Hey, Dad, stop the space cruiser. We have to we have to look at that. <laughs> uh, I like the big ass chairs that make people look very small. I have not one but two pictures of me in two separate uh, of like the big chairs, looking like I'm like a grumpy little kid in them. Uh, Cocker City, Kansas has it. Oh my God, cool! I'm gonna have to go to Kansas, I guess. Uh, for the wiki adventure, do we suggest to start and end? Yes. Um, we are going to, you guys are going to be, uh, I'm going to be taking suggestions from chat. So, um, think of two things. If you've never done this before, you're going to pick up really quick from the people who know how this goes. Uh, actually, let me get this started up. Give me one second. Second GURBCON can, uh, <laughs> Kansas. If, if I don't get canceled after the first GURBCON, we'll see what happens. Nervly, what's up? Hello. 
Interesting thing that happened today. My younger brother got his 23 and me results back and he does not have the same donor dad as us. Wild! Only one half brother showed up, but it's so wild. That is so wild. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, so basically chat is going to suggest a, a start and an end term. Um, and they're supposed to be as un unlike each other as possible. So you could be like ball of twine and uh, like a USS battleship from World War II. And you could be like, oh, Jesus. And then me, I'm going to have to start on the ball of twine article and only using the blue links in the article to other Wikipedia articles. I'm going to have to go through until I find that that last term. And most people time themselves, um, and I'm not going to, because I don't have to. So, <laughs> we're going to take a nice leisurely Wikipedia scroll, because you guys, we, we did the, the Wikipedia article, like, I think we were, like, reading about, like, cryptids and, like, undersea creatures and stuff, like, years ago, like, two years ago or something, and people love that shit, and they've been asking since then for me to do more Wikipedia stuff. So this is like a good way to make it into an activity as well. So should be fun. Uh, can we try to end on uh, Giardia? Wait, what's what's Giardia? What's Giardia? What the hell? Explain that one to me. Do you want to just pick them out of chat or make a poll out of a few chat options? Uh, I'm probably just gonna pick them from chat. I'm just gonna have people like just spamming. Um, start on Rey Mysterio. Okay, but what would the endpoint of that one be? Uh, Hannah Montana, the world's largest pizza. <laughs> Some of these are these are gonna be fun. Uh, I'm not asking yet. It's an infectious disease. Oh, gross. Um, let me change the category so people know what nonsense we're up to tonight. If it will load, Twitch, why aren't you loading categories? What's going on? You're being cringe. Huh? Is there is, is a mod able to update? Hmm. The cat? The cat? Agori? Let me see. Oh, wait. No, I got it. 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 Chill. We're not doing Wikipedia speedruns. It's Wiki Adventure. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Category updated. Now people can know what sort of nonsense we're up to. Bad Twitch. Yeah, Twitch is stinky sometimes. Uh, I hope we get pages with pictures. Yeah, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful about that because some of them are a little bit funky. But we'll see. Yeah, adventure! Adventure awaits, chat. What do we say? Rey Mysterio, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Yeah, only boomers remember Rey Mysterio. Come on. Um, here we are. The most reliable academic source of information that is totally accepted in college papers. Well, actually, you guys said the colleges accept these in like college papers now, right? Because when I was in college, they did not. They straight up would just be like, nope, absolutely not an academic source because it's not peer-reviewed. And it's like, but they literally have like a, a fact-checking team that is like basically the peer-review process. So, I don't know. Um, all right. So, chat, get those, I always said like, <laughs> rev up those fryers. Uh, get going with suggestions. Term to term, what do you want to see me go to? And I'm not going to read most of these out loud because I, my mouth, even though it moves very quickly and my ADHD wants to, um, it's going to be very hard. Falcon, you can't just say one term though. It has to be, it has to be something to something. Otherwise, otherwise it won't work. Absolutely won't work. And I'm, I'm probably going to, I won't lie. I'm probably going to start off with like, uh, with a softball one. So again, two terms. Two terms. Okay, I'll do I like that one. Cutie, I like that one. Easter to Hannah Montana. I'm gonna start that one up. Alright? I'm gonna do Easter to Hannah Montana just to show people how this works. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna do Easter to Hannah Montana. <laughs> Borscht to Twitch Prime Firefly. I actually like that one a lot, but we're gonna do Easter to Hannah Montana because I feel like that's a doable one for my brain. So, so we'll see how this goes, okay? We're going to do Cutie's suggestion of Easter. So here's he's, there, there's the lad himself. Here he is. He's being resurrected after taking a nap in a cave. Whatever. I, I did this. I did this for way longer than three days during, like, uh, you know, lockdown. 
And I didn't get an entire holiday based around me, so I'm, I'm calling bullshit on this. I'm a little bit annoyed. I, I was in a cave for way longer. Slash my very dark living room. Playing Animal Crossing and crying. Alright. I have to get from Easter to Hannah Montana. Also, why were there, like, multiple Hannah Montana? Like, quite, like why, why was that a thing? <laughs> is, is she having a resurrection right now? Like, is she actually being resurrected for Easter? I don't know what that... Okay, anyway. So, those of you who do not know, I have to go from Easter to Hannah Montana. So, let's see. We have a ton of... I mean, it has to deal with Jesus, so there's going to be a lot of... This one might actually be really hard because there's a lot of blue links in this. Hannah Montana is my Jesus. <laughs> she came in on that wrecking ball, you know? Bro woke up and they made a whole holiday out of it. Right, I wake up from naps all the time and no one no one makes holidays. Maybe I just like Hannah Montana. I mean, that's fair. That's okay. That is, You do get the best of both worlds. So, yeah. I did see a TikTok recently of someone discovering that Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus are the same person. You know what, do you know what like, the edgelord version of that was? Was when people found out that Filthy Frank and Joji were the same person. When Zoomers found out that Filthy Frank and Joji were the same person, I was like, this is just a fucking Hannah Montana moment. It, it's the same guy. He just, one, just, one of them wore glasses and, and yelled slurs on YouTube. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> it's the same dude, though. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, 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 okay. Easter happens. It's about to happen again. I hope you guys have your Easter baskets. I hope you're excited for your Easter baskets. It's going to be good. We got lunar phases. Oh, boy. Okay. Date Dates probably won't help me very much. I, I need to find... Wait, music. There's a straight-up music section. Okay. So, if I, I bet if I, like, click a random composer here, it'll be, like, musician, and then I can go to musician from there. So, that that is something that I think the twins in the parent trap are the same person. <laughs> oh my god! All right. So, yeah. Okay, composer. Okay, composer. Music. Okay, music. Music is good. This is a good. This is a good start. The so music. Music. We have performance. Human voice. Okay. Music composition. Musical improvisation. This is pretty good. Cosmic Jewels, enjoy your lurk. Thank you for being here. We as adults should have Easter baskets. If you're an adult, go buy yourself an Easter basket or buy your friend an Easter basket or suggest to a friend or someone else, hey, I would love an Easter basket. We're adults. We're allowed to get that stuff. Absolutely. Don't limit yourself. Don't allow society's expectations to not let you have an Easter basket. Go get a damn Easter basket if you want. Go buy one on discount the day after Easter if you really want one or something like that. That'd be kind of good, right? Arts and entertainment. Okay. Let's go on this one. Um Is there like a okay. There's gotta be like there's gotta be like um like concerts. Concert band? Okay. If I click this, is there gonna be one that's just concerts? Concert marches. Ensemble. No, okay. Um concert bands, French Revolution. It doesn't say that they put on concerts though. Oh no. Okay, I might have I might have I might have boned myself alright. I might have gotten too far away from what we're looking for. Wait, lesbian and gay big apple core? That's kind of in the same wheelhouse as Miley Cyrus, right? You know? That could be. Okay, wait. I'm gonna hit back. I'm allowed to use the back button. That is like one of the only things I get to do. Sheet music, phonograph, tape recorders, playlists, mixed tapes. Portable music, concert band, music schools, jam bands, notations. Hmm. <laughs> the twin sister and I are the same person? Are you guys, wait, did people actually think Miley Cyrus and Hannah Montana were twins? Huh? Is that, was that a thing? You know? I love the Meet Miley Cyrus slash Hannah Montana 2 mixtape. But that's you okay, you gotta admit that's something she might do, right? Multi-track recording. Oh wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. We get we're getting into like uh studio recordings and shit. Popular oh, popular music. Okay, popular music. Is there like pop music in here? Rhythm section, backbeat, drum machines. Okay, popular music. Music with wide appeal. Okay. 
Miley, Miley had to, Miley had had to have like a, the number one song. Like, Wrecking Ball was like huge, right? It was like fucking humongous. I had a TikTok come up of a guy who didn't know Hannah Montana. What? Yeah, that's what we're just being talked about, generic litter goth. Um, yeah, we were talking about how Zoomers are are just discovering those things, and I said the edgy version of that was people who were like tearing their hair out, realizing that Filthy Frank and Joji are the same people. So yeah. Um, fellow twins, right? right? Yeah, Brookie, we have so many twins in this community. We have an unbelievable number of twins in this community. So, Wrecking Ball was among us. <laughs> Are you forgetting Party in the USA? How could I ever forget Party in the USA? Oh my god. Um, Banger Zero is everywhere. That's very true. Very, very true. Okay. So, North American music industry? Ooh, music industry. Album era. Okay. Uh, popular genres of music. Okay, okay, okay. Um, America, American music. We have this. Um, this was a dude our age? Oh, no. Brother. Uh, there's that, and also the, like, yeah, just anyone who's like, oh, my God, Miley Cyrus and Hannah Montana were the same people. Is ve it's very bizarre to me. All right, music radio. Do we have, like, a top hits from the... Is there like a top hit? There's got to be like a top hits, right? Top 40. Okay. Top 40. I bet there's like a... Tw we go back to 2008, right? Something like that. Contemporary hit radio. Here we go. Okay. Easter to Miley Cyrus. We're already in the ballpark. Wait. Okay. Rihanna. Post Malone. Khalid. Lizzo. Black okay. Wait. I bet this has got to be in here. She's got to be in here somewhere, right? Iconic. Wait. Maybe Rihanna in the... You guys can tell how much time I spent on Wikipedia. Rihanna, I bet, will have, like, an associated act. With, like, Miley Cyrus. You know? I was possibly an almost twin. My mom had two placentas when I was born. Oh, my gosh. That's wild. Um, All right. So, we got this. Find Disney? I mean, that might be a good idea. For sure. Um, two, Wait. Wait. Rihanna has over 230 awards? Holy shit. That is unreal. That is so many awards, dude. Okay. We have... Okay. Um, second best-selling female artist of all time. Clicking that. List of best-selling music artists. Okay. Miley's got to be in here, right? Miley has to be in here. Miley... Okay, we got T-Swift. Up in here. T-Swift, T-Swift. We got Bruno Mars. We're, we're, we're finding her in this. No way she has sold less music. There's no way she's not in this list. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We are finding her in this list right now, chat. Chicago has sold more than Miley Cyrus? Chicago? I I walk around. I, I only know of Chicago because my parents loved Chicago when I was growing up. I'm not talking about the musical, by the way. I'm talking about the, like, like, slow motion riders like the colors of the wind. Like, that, that, that shit. Like, they have sold more music than Miley Cyrus? No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay. Um there's there's J Tim. Justin Timberlakes. 70 75 million to 79 million. Maybe maybe we're getting into this. No way. Okay, Nirvana's up here. So Can you use control app? No, that would just straight up be cheating. I I mean, it's a good idea, but it would straight up be cheating. Wait, what? Where is she? Aretha Franklin has 26.8? No way. Did I go past her? I have a test to study for vintage. I hope that the studying goes well. Thank you so much for hanging out. I must have gone past her, right? Ain't no way. Ain't no way.
Is it because I was talking to chat? I chat, you distract me. How do you? Um, Britney Spears. Wait, okay. No, not Britney Spears. I'm trying to think. Who the hell has Miley Cyrus had feuds with? Who's Miley Cyrus had feuds with? She's not. There's no way she's up here with like the Beatles and shit, or like Aerosmith. But she has to. She has to be like. How? I know Meatloaf was very popular, but how? How did Meatloaf is more popular than Cher? No. No, because Cher was still making music even when I was like young. She was still like, do you believe in love after love after love? Like, huh? Ain't no way. Cher still makes music? Oh my god. I don't even know who, who does Miley Cyrus sing music with anymore? There's got to be an artist in here I can just click, probably. Go straight to her. I bet I could... I. Tim McGraw. Arna Grande. Is this like related acts is Miley Cyrus, right? Because she was on... Di no, she wasn't on Disney. She was on Nickelodeon. She was on Victorious, right? Who was on... Who was on... Who was also on fucking Disney? There's got to be a Disney star, Disney person up here, right? Justin, J-Tim was kind of... He was popular around that time, right? This was like pre-anti-vaxxer Justin Timberlake. He did some Disney shit, right? I think I didn't. I thought him and like Britney like appeared. Oh, Mickey Mouse Club. Oh, okay. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. 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 This is it. Disney Channel. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Movie library. Where's Hannah Montana movie? It's got to be in here. Uh, Disney XD, Disney Junior, nope, um, there's gotta be, Playhouse Disney, Mickey Mouse, no, 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 Magical World of Disney, where's like a list of Disney Channel movies, oh, right here, okay, no, we got it, this is it, chat, this has gotta be it, this has gotta be it, this has gotta be it, yo, what's up, Vash, welcome to the stream, this has got to be it. We're finding it right here. DCOMs right here. DCOMs, baby. Disney Channel original movies. DCOMs, baby. Johnny Tsunami. Oh, my God. Fucking A. I love that movie. Um, <laughs> Motocross. Oh, shit. Xenon, the sequel. Fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Kim Possible. High School Musical. It has to be. It, it, it was around this era, right? Lemonade Mouth. That's that's the best one in, in the past, like, 15 years. I'm going to say that right now. Lemonade Mouth was so good. Wait, this is too far now. Wait, what the fuck? Did I miss it? I had to have. Where is it? Wait, Hannibal. No, Hannibal. <laughs> Back to Hannibal. I thought that said Hannah. <laughs> Hannah Montana. Hannibal. <laughs> it didn't premiere on Disney Channel. Wait, are you serious? Oh, that was the theater. That was like in theater, right? Hannibal Montana. That was in the theaters. Oh, shit. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We're going back. Disney. Uh, Disney, Disney, Disney. 
Media. Okay, Disney Channel. Okay. How do I get back to just Disney? Is it just back one? Yeah, Disney Channel. Mickey Mouse Club. Okay, Walt Disney. Walt Disney Productions. No, nope, that's the man. Walt Disney Productions. Okay. That's big. Golden Era. Bob Eigner. Bob Iger's shit. High School Musical. Was Hannah Montana before or after High School Musical? Oh my god, I'm so old. History is just blending together. Maybe before or after? It was after? Okay, 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 okay. Walt Disney, man. <laughs> There's no way it's not mentioned in here, though, right? Where, where's, like, a list of their theatrical releases, dude? Disney M disambiguation. Let's just do that. That technically counts as a motion pictures. Here we go. This is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Walt Disney Pictures. Is that not what we're on? Is this different? Is that not the same page we were just on? Huh? Halloween, hello! I didn't know until I was a full-ass adult that the G was a D in Disney. I was so confused growing up. Wait, who was it that recently referenced the Pro ZD... Um, <laughs> uh, sketch where he's like, he's like, oh man, I'm so excited to watch a Disney movie. <laughs> and he's like, what? What are you talking about? And he's like, what did you, what did you just say? And he's like, you know, Disney. Cause it's a, it's like a backwards G, backwards Disney. And he's like, stop calling it. It's a D. Stop calling it that. <laughs> yeah. Backwards Disney. That's, that's. That is a fantastic video. Super funny. Um, it wasn't done in 2010, was it? Walt Disney logo, Walt Disney pictures. Company history. Where's just their films, dude? Where is the just Disney film list? This is what makes this hard, is you know what you're looking for, but they just don't have it. Ha, I feel seen. Yeah, because other people have done that. I still see it as a G. I, it is the sloppiest D in the world, honestly. It is literally the sloppiest D in the entire world. So. <laughs> a film series, Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I don't give a shit. I don't give a flying poop. This is Walt Disney Film Library. Jesus God, Christmas Kringle. All right, here we go. Here we go. Look at all this shit they've, they've put their grubby little hands on. Look at all this crap. Look at all this stuff. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. This is the movie. Where is she? Miley Cyrus. Hannah Montana. This is why we didn't time this shit. This is why we didn't time this shit. But now that you've seen this done, hopefully this, and feel free to click along at home, but just like, obviously don't like try to spoil anything if you know like what link goes where. But those of you who've never seen this done, hopefully, hopefully this was a nice, uh, not a refresher, like, uh, tutorial. That's the <laughs> tutorial for how this is going to work. Where did we start from? We started from uh, Easter. So I'd say that's pretty impressive, you know? So, Cheetah Girls would have worked from the decom page. Wait, how? So, this is like seven links to Hannah Montana. It was, I think that was like 20 for me. This is ADHD when I'm on Wikipedia. Can you see why I've wanted to do this for a while? I, my ADHD just caused me to uh, forget, actually. Like, 
<laughs> like it literally not even joking was i've wanted to do this type of stream for like a year year and a half and i just kept forgetting because of my adhd but i wanted to do one of these for a while this is fun as hell because i click around in my free time on wikipedia and just read like you can ask morgan like any time of day i'm just on my phone we'll be in the middle of a movie and i'll be like i need to wikipedia that and i'll just go through wikipedia articles and be like babe this movie only cost $12 million to make, and it made $400 million. I'm the wiki master. Yeah, all I do is I sit on Wikipedia. I think I probably spend more time on wiki Wikipedia than any other site in the world. So, here we go. Kenny Rogers to Dolly Parton and Miley to Hannah Montana. Damn, that would have been good. Was Kenny Rogers on the top um, the top list of musical artists? Because I don't know. So, yes? Okay. That's wild. All right, so some of you are much more efficient than me, but I'm uh, trying. You know, I'm trying to be an entertainer. Try it someday, huh? You know, I was like, what, Bo Burnham? I'm gonna keep referring to Bo Burnham's inside as my ironclad defense. How about next time I sit on the couch and you tell me a joke? So not so easy now when there's no audience laughing. Blah. All right, chat. The floodgates have opened. What's your start term? What's your end term? Try to make them very unlike each other. I will pick. I will pick. Vampire Hunter to Trigun? That would be like three clicks. <laughs> this might be a softball. The deepest place in the ocean to Carly Rae Jepsen? Okay, first off, I love Carly Rae Jepsen. One of the greatest talents of the modern era. Thank God I exist at the same time as Carly Rae Jepsen. Deepest part of the ocean? You mean the Marianas Trench? <laughs> Tarot to Twice, the girl group. I am a huge Twice fan. Not even, not even joking. If you don't know, I'm not very into K-pop because I don't like the whole like, you know, Western's uh, interpretation of the K-pop industry to make it a weird fetish. But I like K-pop, and I have for a very long time. It's a important part of my Korean heritage. But Twice is probably like the only girl group I keep up with anymore. Sometimes Blackpink. But I, I love Twice. I literally just bought um, Ready to Be on vinyl because I had to. <laughs> um, Gengar to the Vampire Diaries? Oh my god, just because you're in a room watching D Vampire Diaries and you saw my Gengar plushie, wasn't it, Morgan? You can admit it. Uh... <laughs> Like, ice cream to the Rocky Mountains? Did I do it? I mean, yeah, that kind of thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Legend of Zelda the Fork? I feel like I might be able to do that. So <laughs> Hannah Montana, the first time. Everyone just incorporates Hannah Montana somehow. Oh, my God. I get really good at finding the exact keywords that lead to Hannah Montana that way. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, Legend of Zelda the Fork. I kind of like that one. I kind of like that one. I, I'd give that one a try. I'd maybe do that one. Legend of Zelda the Fork. I feel like I might be able to do this one kind of quick, though. We'll see. And then then I'm going to ask for, how, like, I'm going to ask for hardballs after this. Because I think that this one might be kind of easy. We got Legend of Zelda. We got this one. Be we to the tube. I'm, I'm not on Wikipedia. God, I wish I was. Watch. This is just going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you, chat. Oh, no results. Oh, Jesus. I think Ethan doesn't even have his own Wikipedia article. I know he's mentioned on Mark's page, but I... Yeah. He's mentioned... Oh, bud. He's mentioned on Mark's page. Um, You're not... I. I have 58 viewers. Do you think that's enough to get on Wikipedia? If you guys want to help me pump up those numbers, maybe someday we'll have a blue link Wikipedia article on the site. That'd be kind of dope. Uh, he, Ethan's mentioned in the Jax Films page. The 11th Streamy Awards for Unis Anis. Game Grumps. Guitar Hero 3? Oh, Crank's Gameplay. <laughs> to 11 it's a review for <laughs> guitar hero 3 cranks gameplay to 11 i thought that was about him 
I was like, why would they mention e Ethan sucks at Guitar Hero? Ethan's not good at Guitar Hero. I played Guitar Hero with him. <laughs> oh, I get a pantyhose truck. Oh my god, Phoenix! Perfect, by the way. Perfect. Yeah, see, Ethan doesn't even have his own blue link, which is sad. He deserves one. I, I honestly uh, thought that he should have gotten one a while ago. All right, so Grabigli article does not exist. I'm not pertinent and relevant enough. Doesn't mean I won't be in the future. You guys, someday, you'll go, oh man, I wonder, you know, there was that like streaming community that I used to belong to. Uh, what was that guy? What was that person's name again? Uh, Jer Jerbigli. Jerbigli. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I wonder what he's been up to. And then like you Google it, and it comes up with like Brian Long here on Wikipedia, and you're like, whoa, Brian's got like like a Wikipedia article now about them. Serial killer. Oh, cool. Wow. Man, he really went far. You know? It, someday it will happen. It'll be really cool. Anyway, uh, Legend of Zelda the Fork. Um, we're gonna try that out. So ooh. You know, I'm I'm immediately going to go to uh, merchandising. Cause this game, I, I had a Legend of Zelda, like, lunchbox when I was a kid. Kids had, like, Legend of Zelda backpacks. Tons of stuff like that. So, went far? Yeah. Like, from here to jail, you know. So, yeah, Zelda fork. Yeah, the Zelda fork. We're going to find a Zelda fork here. Going to merchandising, we're going to see if there's something that mentions, like, lunch supplies. Like, like eating utensils or something. And it, then I'm going to find it. Okay, this is just, uh, okay, legacy. Okay, this is just its influence on other things. In other media, here we go, print media, music, merchandising. I knew it. Okay, merchandising. It doesn't actually have something I can click, though. Shit. Okay. Ooh, that one hurts. In 2007, Imagi Animation Studios, which had provided the animation for TMNT and Astro Boy, created a pitch reel for a computer-animated Legend of Zelda movie. Nintendo did not accept the studio's offer. Dude, that sucks. That's so sad. At an elf lunchbox? Elf! Oh god, there's a clip from Elf that lives in my head forever, which is Elf just yelling, Call the police! Call the police! Call the police! I don't know why, it just lives there forever. Um It's like the TikTok audio I found today. You got <laughs> You got a felony to the tune of You've got a friend and you've got a felony. Um Blue could get you close to tools and utensils, I guess. Like, maybe candlesticks and shit like that, right? I'll find something good, though. I'm going to find something good. I'm going to go to the video game, see if we can go from there. Okay. We got secret passages, monsters, boss, setting, story. Is there a... See, what, what I really want... I want it to be like sword, and then I go from sword to like metal to like like sword and sorcery. There, you know, like what are common things they make out of like you know metal, something like that. It was Professor Plum with the fork in the dining room. <laughs> what do we have here? American releases. I wanted, I really wanted, like, the, the, them to talk about, like, the lunch boxes and shit like that. Because Zelda, when I was a kid in the 90s, Zelda was everywhere. It was huge. It didn't matter if you played video games or not. There was, like, Zelda shit everywhere in stores. It's huge. Back from loading the dishwasher, where are we and where are we heading? Uh, we are going from Zelda, so I literally just started pretty much. Um, and I'm trying to get to Fork, which I thought was going to be a lot easier than it already has been. But welcome back. I hope that it, uh, you know, Zelda cartoon. Yeah, the Zelda cartoon was huge. I mean, that was a not great cartoon, but everyone I knew watched it. You know? So <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, fucking maybe home console because it's like a utility television. Do like television to like... Um... We got, like, DVD players. I, I I don't know where I went. I Oh, households. Okay, households. 
Households, where's the kitchen? Where's the kitchen? There's gotta be there's gotta be like kitchen in here, right? It mentions dwelling, economics, inheritance, blended family, shared housing, group homes, boarding houses. No, these are just types of housing, you fucking ding dong. Boarding house single room occupancy. Okay, we can do that. Is there one that mentioned Kitchen Why is kitchen? Kitchen's here, but it's not a blue link. I can't use it. Studio apartment. This is got mention kitchen. Mention kitchen. Mention dining. Okay. Dining room. Consuming food. Here we go. Consuming food. Uh, indigestion. <gasps> Eating practices among humans. Okay. Uh, tools that we use. Where's utensils that we use to eat our food with? Women eating biscuits in England. Great. That not helpful. Um, newborn babies do not eat food. Okay. Cool. Don't care. Eating positions. Symposium. Compulsive overeating. Okay. I do that every night after stream. Who cares? Uh, hunger. Um, peptide YY. Where am I going? What is this one? What? Ingestion of food. Food. Okay. Food. How do we eat food? Food we eat with... No, I feel like dining was better because like... Hu okay, human food. Okay, human food. Okay, how do we eat food though? How do we eat food? As human beings, how do we eat food? Access to food. Okay. Right to food. Oh god, now we're just getting into sad shit. Um... Corn, wheat, uh, cereal. Okay, cereal. Cereal, uh, you eat with a spoon. So spoon is going to be a utensil if that's mentioned. So, yep, you, you're you going to eat cereal. Um, this means cereal like grains, though. Okay, also, side note, endosperm, I know that's like a scientific phrase, but like adding the endo on the front, like sperm, like we make jizz jokes here all the time, but like endosperm, why did they do that? There's, that's just something weird from my brain. Like, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, pseudo cereals. No, I need like, oh, breakfast cereals right here. I knew I, that I knew they were gonna have to mention that, right? Porridge grits, something like that. Chronic, hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Hello, hi. Fortified toy or prize? Okay, cool. Um, early America. Grits. Oh, I, I I love grits. Grits are so good. But it's not... I don't care. Um, the first cold breakfast cereal, granola, not the same as granola, was invented in the United States in 1863 by James Caleb Jackson? Wow! Dansville, New York. I know where the hell that is. I know Dansville. Cereal never became popular due to the inconvenient necessity of tenderizing the heavy bran and graham nuggets by soaking them overnight. Hmm. Y'all messed up. Okay. Where's it going to talk about... Okay. Processing of grains. Don't care about that. Where is... You eat this shit with a spoon. Where is... One day, someone picked up a fucking metal utensil and put the food in their mouth instead of using their hands like a weird ass. Like, the, there's a picture of a spoon right there. I just need utensil, dude. Oh, my God. You're so close. So, so close. Uh, Fizzy, get some good rest. Thank you so much for dropping by. Thank you so much for chilling. Wait, oatmeal. You eat oatmeal with a... You eat it with a spoon. Where is you eat it with a spoon? Not what you put in it. Where is you eat it with a spoon? Microwave. I mean, we're going uh, we're going somewhere weird, dude. A thin soup. Okay, I would have loved to have clicked soup because I guarantee someone would be like, soup you eat with a goddamn spoon. This is actually kind of hard. I don't I don't care how to serve I don't care how to serve oatmeal. I wanna click a a spoon. Soup for the family, exactly. I, that's why I bought a ton of soup today. It was for my family. Okay. 
Like, where is this? Does Spoon have a Wikipedia? It has to have a Wikipedia. There's no... Everything is on Wikipedia. Except for me and Ethan, apparently. But everything is on Wikipedia. There's no way. I almost click rice a because I was like, you eat that with a fork, right? So... Oh, my God. Sugar cereals. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Sugar was added to improve the flavor for children. Well, I'm... Does, I guess I'm a child because I love sugary cereals sometimes. Uh, although I do eat it as a dessert. Ready to eat cold cereal. No, that's not it. Processing of grains. Nutritional fortification. I'm going to bang my head off of my computer screen. <laughs> why does... Why does nobody mention what you eat cereal with? It, Fruit Loops is right here, dude. With a spoon sticking out of it. That had to have been a big moment for humanity to be like, Oh man, it's really hard to grip the milk with my fingers. When I'm grabbing my cereal, I better... I, if only I had a weird little scoopy thing that fucking shovel it into my mouth. Does that not seem like that would make sense? Oh my god. Uh, how is this one? <laughs> okay, breakfast. Breakfast is eaten. Breakfast. Breakfast is regularly eaten with your hands, a spoon, and a fork. <laughs> We're giving up on cereal. It's going to break, Brian. I think I might be broken already by it. Is it. Okay, soup. Soup, please. Please tell me, like... Soup. Soup for my family. Soup for my family. Please. This is a sop. Wait. Soup comes from the word sop? Because the bread was used to soak up the soup. Okay, and then we evolved and said, oh, the bread is still good, but what if we had another thing to scoop up the rest of the fucking soup with? Right? Right, Wikipedia? Right, Wikipedia? Right, Wikipedia? Dude. Dude, no, absolutely no way. No way. They got... Tripe is a fucking link in here. You're gonna tell me tripes in here, but you're not gonna mention how people eat soup with a fucking spoon? No! Absolutely not. All right, soup kitchen. No, no, no. I need, like... Okay, I feel like... Do I go back to kitchen? Or dining, or whatever the hell? Food? How can... How can there be articles about food that don't mention how you eat the food? Is that... Is this... <laughs> I should look for metals? Oh, God, we're in so deep that I, it might take a while to get there. Oh, maybe... Like, cans? Yeah, that would be metal. Okay, let's do cans. Mmm, baby. Oh, I'm losing it. Not soup how- I know, right? This one says steel, but it's not letting me click it. Linseed oil, shoe polish, materials. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, aluminum is a type of metal. Metal. Okay, okay. We could be, we could be here. We could be here. Okay, um, life cycle, alloy, alloy, maybe, maybe alloy, form and structure, hot working, okay, hot working into, hot working into a fork, hot working into a fork. Okay. How 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 is there not like a a common thing we hot work things into? Okay, wait 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 wait. A forging. Okay. Here we go. We can do this. Edge weapons, smiths, uh, kitchenware, kitchenware. Fork. Bay. <laughs> Oh my god, I was going to throw up during that. We did it. God, thank god we did it. 
<laughs> this is so much harder. Dude, um, I was watching I was watching uh, Chris Melberger play this like a month or two ago. And I was screaming at my screen. I was like, Chris, why? You're, you're in like the Japan Wikipedia. It's got to be in there. Just like stick to that one. Why are you leaving that one? And now I get it. I get it. I totally get it. I totally get it. I absolutely totally get it. This is a lot harder. All right, chat. You don't give me a breather. What are two terms that are very loosely related or not related at all that you can bring into my mind to torture it and make it feel like it is being uh, crushed at the bottom of the ocean? Um, Piss to wholesome. I don't even know if those words actually have uh, any sort of Wikipedia articles. Remember, colloquialisms, 99% of the time, probably won't be here. They'll be in their most scientific terms. So if you did, like, urine, urine to wholesome... Wholesome is a term, though. It's an idea. Yeah, see, there's not a wholesome. It's not a, it's not a dictionary so much as it's an encyclopedia. Just to, to make it easier for some people. You're into YouTube? See, that's where if Ethan did have an article, God, it would be so easy to do that through his, right? Neon <laughs> signs the clams. Kangaroo to International Space Station. Oh, God, that one would be really tough, I feel like. Oh my god. Falcon, I don't even know what the hell that second word is. Wait, does that even have a... Shista... Oh my god, that does actually have a fucking Wikipedia. Porg, though? I don't know if Porg does. List of Star Wars creatures? Yeah, they wouldn't have a blue link. You gotta make sure it has a blue link is the problem. So... Um... <laughs> this still with a Ray Mysteria to Giardia. Does Giardia have one? Oh my god, Giardia does actually have a... Okay, just for my own... Okay, if if I say... Rey Mysterio to Giardia... If I say Rey Mysterio to Giardia... Give me some context. What is... So, Giardia is an intestinal parasite? Is what you're saying. So, this is an intestinal parasite. So I have to go from the WWE legend Rey Mysterio to the an intestinal parasite called Giardia. Is that what you're saying? It causes insane diarrhea. Okay, that's a good tip. That's a good tip. So I got to look for moments that Rey Mysterio had insane diarrhea. Probably not going to click the diarrhea uh, blue link if there is one, by the way, because I don't know what's going to show up on the screen. So <laughs> just as a heads up on that one. Um, we can try it. If it starts going south, then, uh, <laughs> well, we'll try this one. We'll try this one. I will say this. Uh, I have, I've not thought of this man in a long time, but he did used to be one of my favorite, uh, wrestlers back in the day. You used to, used to love watching Rey Mysterio wrestle. All right, let's go. Let's go. So, uh, I'm going to go to Professional Wrestler for the first one. This, is, this one's going to be tough. 10 out of 10, wholesome baby face, right? He wrestled this weekend. Love hearing that he's thriving. It's a parasite specifically. Okay, perfect. Because from here, I can probably find Authentic Wrestling, which has a shit ton of of health issues um, associated with it. Um, I, I used to be a wrestler when I was in middle school, and I remember, I don't know if this was a great thing to tell kids. I don't know why he really did this. I think it just, he didn't have a filter, but my wrestling coach was like, oh yeah, uh, if, you're, if you're gonna be wrestling, just like be ready to, um, you know, like fuck up your ear and get like cauliflower ear or get like ringworm or like do X, Y, and Z. And we were like, I'm 12. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't, why? <laughs> ah, shit ton, yeah. Oh my god. A wrestler in middle school is a wild phrase? What, in what way? What do you mean? Kids kids wrestle in middle school? What are you talking about? I did, okay, I did Greco-Roman. Freestyle wrestling? There's There's gotta be one that's like, uh, like health concerns or something, right? And like one of these. You're like Greco Greco Roman. That dude is having a bad time, by the way. No. Uh 
I missed uh, Mysterio's match, but I'm so glad I got to see Rhea's win. I saw that trending on Twitter. I used to clean middle school wrestling mats. Ringworm was a serious concern. Oh my god, yeah, there we go. Yeah, Ringworm? Yep, Ringworm was a very serious concern. It's great. Middle schoolers are so full of rage. It's a great outlet. It wasn't great for me because I was already being bullied and I just thought I would get like better at fighting and it was not, not the case. <laughs> All right. So. These boys are having a very nice time together. They're hugging. Um, what was I looking for again? Okay. Um, no one's going to... It's not going to mention Ringworm? being like a big issue no like <laughs> bring an opponent to the ground okay is there gonna be I, I need to find something that's like injury or something like that and then from injury I can go from like to like internal injury which is like oh like sepsis is an issue and then like from there like you know I gotta do, I gotta. Okay, that's a short article. Martial arts. Okay, here we go. Where's like injuries? You know? Hugging in this Minecraft server, right? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Warriors. Okay, wait. Unarmed. Uh, striking. Striking, yeah, it's a blunt trauma. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Wound. Okay. Uh, okay, no, I'm not going to click that one because that, that one's gross. Ooh, see, this one might get weird, though, chat. Abdomen. Here we go. Oh, God. Dude, where that picture cuts off, that could have been TOS immediately. Shit. I'm going to... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I will, I will, uh, explain what I am doing here. There is a link, a blue link for gastrointestinal tract. I'm going to scroll through this to make sure we don't see anything that wouldn't be deemed educational by the overlords of Twitch TOS. All right, we're safe on that. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to hover over the one that says anus because I feel like that, even though I feel like that might be where I have to go. <laughs> Becoming Reddit 50-50. <laughs> oh, God. Um, hmm. Okay. Wait. Wait. Gut microbiota. Okay. Okay. Gut microbiota. This has got, they got to talk about how those can be, the, the microbes in your gut get like messed up by like parasites and shit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Feces, not going to hover over that one, even though that's, that probably has parasite stuff in that. Um, there's got, oh God, this is playing with fire a little bit here. Uh, Bacteria. Okay, bacteria, it's fine. All that fine. Hmm. Ecosystem in the human gut. Yeah. Uh, intestines. Okay. Colon, feces. Stop, stop highlighting feces article, please. Symbiotic relationship. No. Immune system. Okay, immune system. I mean, it would react to parasites, but it can't do much against them. No? Virome? Wait, human virome. Viruses? Wait, no, 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 it's a parasite. God damn it. It's a parasite. Malnutrition. Okay, malnutrition can be caused by some parasites. So I wonder if it, it, it talks about that. I don't want to look at malnourished kids. I, I won't make you guys do that. I'm clicking on malnourished. Malnourished. Uh, 
I'm just going to scroll it. See if it mentions any uh, parasites. Yeah, I don't I, I don't want to show this article on stream. I don't want to do that. It's like sick kids. Makes me sad. Uh, famine. Diabetes. Okay. It's got to mention some, some stuff. This is a chill adventure. We're not being timed. It would be funny to hear the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire music to go with your talking aloud and reasoning with yourself. You know, that was, so, um, what was it? Last stream, everyone was talking about me playing, uh, are, are you smarter than a fifth grader on stream, right? And I was like, that would be a really fucking fun, uh, stream, potentially. The issue, I guess, is, is that game, uh, the one that's currently on Steam is, like, super easy. They, like, actually made it for fifth graders now. So, like, even though... I'll probably still do it at some point, but there's probably going to be a lot of softball questions, just as a, a warning. Um, but I guess that there's enough of the hard questions in there that every now and then I will whiff on questions that really are meant for fifth graders. Um, and then it was like, oh, well, maybe I could do, like, who wants to be a millionaire instead? But then I remembered that um, that game, uh, NBC or whatever, uh, who wants to be a millionaire, ABC or whoever has been hitting people with DMCA strikes for the music. Uh, the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire music. The like, oh, 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 like that. And the like theme of the like, like that shit. Like that is being DMCA'd. And it's like, huh? Well, that's, that's stinky. So that is, uh, that is probably out, unfortunately. Unless there's a way, I might buy it and see, or like do some research and see if there's a way to um, turn off just the music. We play Family Feud. I was thinking Family Feud or Trivial uh, Pursuit. Those are like the two that I'm, I'm kind of thinking of. So, all right. Uh, yeah, this, man, this article is yuck. Ugh! I really don't like it. Um... I'm just, I'm literally just looking for the word parasite in here. I don't like this article. Oh, I don't like this article. I'm going to go back to... I'm going to go back to something. I'm going to go back to uh, gut microbia. Keep that up, they'll fade into memory. I was having a conversation, Phoenix, with Morgan earlier today about, like, I cannot wait for all these crusty-ass old CEOs to disappear um, who are, like, just super out of touch. It's like, yeah, I get it. You grew up, like, when cars could only go, like, 20 miles an hour. But, like, dude, it's the modern era. And it, as soon as old media meets new media in a really genuine way, it's going to benefit both of us. And I can't wait for that to happen. Um... I saw a clip recently of Peter Park playing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader where he had to guess the spelling of the word gaze. Oh my god, I saw the clip too where he's like, wait, this is a trick because like it could be G-A-Z-E but it could also be like G-A-Y-S. What the hell? And <laughs> Point Crow did a, a version of Deal or No Deal called Yes or No Yes. I mean, that's funny. That's a good way to get around copyright. Just make your own, but I don't have... Nearly, I'm too way, I'm way too fucking lazy to do that. Um, okay, we're back, we're back at it. So, gastrointestinal tract. Oh God, this is gross. Rolling disease. Oh, see, I, I I need to be careful about what I'm scrolling here. I just don't want to, like, scroll and show up something fucking insensitive and weird. Even though it's just facts, it's still, you know, I don't want to do something bizarre. So I'll be careful. I'm being really careful here for you, chat. <laughs> there is a diarrhea! Oh, God. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm blocking my... I'm blocking the screen again. I'm clicking diarrhea. 
click and die clicking diarrhea uh and then if i can find <laughs> oh, i'm going to i'm going to make sure there's no diarrhea oh there's pictures of poop <laughs> Okay, I'm on the diarrhea page. All right, I'm I'm your tour guide. I am your tour guide. <laughs> I'm your tour guide. I'm talking about I. Uh, I'm giving you the audio tour. You you went to the museum. You put on the headset. You you downloaded the app and then you hit the like play button in front of the, like. <laughs> you're in the display. Diarrhea. And I'm on the diarrhea page, and I'm looking for parasite. Okay, I'm looking for parasites in the diarrhea uh, Wikipedia. So, also uh, as a heads up, this is probably the last disease one I'm gonna do um, because some of you a are just sick fucks, and b uh, it just it's one of those things where again we're gonna get into some like sort of dicey articles that I don't want to like trigger people with or make them feel weird looking at certain shit. Um, so we're probably going to stay away from, like, health-related stuff. Uh, just, ca just out of consideration for other people. Um, I'm actually so surprised that it's not talking about... Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to diarrhea. In the Jurassic Park voice. Sorry? No, you don't have to be sorry at all, uh, Falcon. It was... I chose to do it. Um, I'm just looking for Parasite, and it's not mentioning Parasites in here at all. Oh, it does! But there's not a fucking blue link? Alright, oh wait, there's a blue link to Infectious Diarrhea, though. Oh boy. Alright, I'm on Infectious Diarrhea now, chat. Oh boy, my life has certainly taken an interesting turn. Parasites. I'm on the Parasite page. I'm scrolling it quick to make sure that it's not too fucked up. But there are, like, bugs and creepy things. So if you're someone who's not into that, just a heads up. Maybe look away until I give the verbal cue. I'm double-checking. There's not, like, someone's, like, fucking open chest cavity or fucked up shit. Uh, all right. I'm on Parasite. I'm on Parasite. I think I can show this. Um, all right. What could be better than diarrhea? Infectious diarrhea. <laughs> All right. We are on this. The para parasitism page. Which is... Ooh, we'll see. Hi, fishy. Yeah, poor fish. His tongue was replaced by an isopod, by the way. So, yeah. Let's see here. Dysentery. Oh! Mistletoe? Wait. Mistletoe is a parasitic plant? Why did I never know that? Is that... Pathology? Okay, pathology might be good to go into. Greece, Rome, Antoine, Van, Lee, Hook, Observe, Geodart. Wait! Is this actually it? Wait, is this actually it? Why is this the example they use in the in like one of the important paragraphs in the, the intro paragraph? Wait, is this the same or is this a different one? Is this the same? It is? Holy shit, I didn't actually think that we were gonna get there that quick. Woo! Okay. <laughs> The genus is the G, uh, generic Giardia. Okay, I didn't I didn't even know what that was until now, but oh, it's right here. Oh, perfect. There we go. Yay! We did it. Good lord. Oh, so okay, Geo Nowhere. You also got there from the diarrhea parasite pipeline. So fun. <laughs> Holy crap, that one was whoo. And we are TOS safe, though. We're a-okay. Hey, Twitch, I'm playing by your rules. Do you like it? I hope so. All right, uh, chat. Hit me with some more suggestions. Again, maybe stay away from the health-related ones, just so we're not making people, you know, feel like, oh, my God, you know? Um, Firefly, I don't know if Twitch Prime is actually going to be something 
Amazon Prime is there. Would you like to sub into Amazon Prime? Because I did like the Borscht one when you first mentioned that. That was kind of fun. Aurora Borealis to Egg? I kind of like that. Thundercats to String Theory? Oh my god. Okay, keep these locked and loaded. Chicken Tenders to Supernova? Oh, I love that one. I did, say, I did tell Firefly a couple rounds ago I wanted to do the Borscht to Prime one, though. All right, well, we're going to do Borscht to Twitch Prime. I think that one works pretty well. Shrek to Crochet. <laughs> okay, we got we got some good ones. We got some really good ones. Borscht. Okay, I forgot how to spell it for a second. It, it, by the way, uh, show of hands in chat. How many of you have ever tried Borscht before? Because it is... I like beets. This is not my favorite way to eat beets. Um, it is very sour and weird. Oh, it even says, Borscht is a sour soup common in Eastern Europe and Northern Asia. Um, made from red beet roots is one of the main... It, it's like, okay. It's not my favorite, though. I've only heard of it now. Only just heard of it now. Okay, it's like a, a classic staple in Eastern Europe. Veggie tails to corduroy? <laughs> that will be a funny one. I have not. Okay, never had borscht. No. Am I really the only the only borscht haver? I'm Ukrainian. Okay, so there we go. Firefly. Slaps with lots of sour cream. Uh, see, I think that's where it hangs me up is because of the lactose intolerance. I'm not really able to do that. Oh, man. Okay. Fair, fair, fair. Um, I'm not that into beets. That's fair. Never had it. Okay, so no... <laughs> The only person who likes it is Firefly. I'm so sorry, Firefly. Uh, I urge you all to look up the Giardia Giant Micro Plush. Oh, we already did a micro, a Giant Microbe Plush stream where I was giving Giant Microbes a huge amount of exposure for free. They don't even pay me because we were talking about it because Shira is obsessed with that website. All right. Borscht to Amazon Prime. Um, oh, boy. This can only go... Okay, North America. Uh, we, we have to, in the North America article, mention the richest man on Earth. First trillionaire in the world, Jeffrey Be Bezos, right? I was here. It's so good. Yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful website, honestly. Yo, Sachi, what's up? How you doing? Gamer. Yo, can we get a, a shout-out for Sachi there in chat? If you do not know Sach, uh, super, super friendly, super funny, incredible streamer. Please give them a... Yeah, please, please, please support her in everything that she does. She's awesome. Very funny person. Uh, another member of Team Neat Dude. Worth giving a follow to. Okay. CEO, entrepreneur, born in 1964, Jeffrey. Jeffrey Bezos. I saw all your packs for Scarlet and Violet. I'm hyped to see what you get. Yeah, we got two booster boxes to open. We got some ETBs and stuff. Thank you again to Pokemon Company. I uh, appreciate it. That stream will be family-friendly for me. But again, chat, you're allowed to show up and say whatever you want. It's okay. I personally will probably not be swearing at all. Um, as much as I can. Swear to God, Team Neat Dude is Oops All Bangers, right? Sach is a member of Team Neat Dude as well. Thank you. <laughs> that actually jump scared me. Why did I respond to a jump scare with thank you? <laughs> that scared me so hard I didn't yell. I I thanked it. <laughs> that was so weird. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Sach, you are are amazing. You've been nothing but a sweetheart. I appreciate you a ton. Had a booster box come in today. Yeah! Hell yeah. I hope you get some amazing pulls. There are some really beautiful cards. I really want some of the, like, Miriam alt arts and full arts and stuff from the set. It's going to be good. Uh, okay, chat. First off, can we talk about this stat right here? The GDP of uh, North America, $30 trillion. Jeff Bezos is a 30th of our, in our fucking worth. That's fucked. When you think about that. That is really fucked up, honestly. Have a doctor's appointment in seven hours. Oh my god, yes. Please lurk and get some good rest. Thank you so much for hanging out. Hopefully, actually, I... I'm so glad that you did suggest what you did. Because now we know sort of the limit of of how these work. 
but I feel proud that I actually got there. So thank you for the challenge. Get some wonderful rest, Falcon. We appreciate you a ton here. Bless the Neat Dude SMP for ha uh, having us get to know other Neat Dude creators better. Yeah, I know. I'm so bad at, like, interacting and collabing with people. Um, I did just sign up for an upcoming Minecraft Neat Dude thing that I will not spoil anything about. But it is some point this month you will see more uh, Neat Dude Minecraft. And it's going to be fun. Um, I have not given up on Minecraft, by the way. I just needed to take a little bit of a break so I don't burn out on it too much. But I want to finish the 6G tower eventually. Um, anyway. Uh, okay. Let's see here. List of urban areas. Okay, this might actually be... This might be easier than I think it's going to be. Um, San Diego. Here we go. San Diego uh, is where TwitchCon, TwitchCon used to be held. Uh, so I'm going to look for the um, convention center in San Diego. And then I think... Is it San Diego or San Francisco where Twitch headquarters is? Because this, this could be a speed run. Yeah, rip to, to TwitchCon in San Diego. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to go to TwitchCon for the first time this year. But I'm kind of bummed it's in Vegas instead. Kind of bummed about that. But... Oh, San Diego Zoo. Here we go. Okay, we got we got a lot of their a lot of their things. We got a high five. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Very good stuff. All right. So we got Horton Plaza. Oh, Convention Center. They got to mention. They have to mention that Twi Twitch and TwitchCon. Do you see the size of this brain? Do you see how big this brain gets on stream? Amazon Prime. Oh, God. God, you could. That one was quick. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Damn. I want to go so bad this year, but I just don't want to go to Vegas. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> I think it's still going to be fun. I'm just, again, I've talked about this before. The big thing that worries me about this year is, um, first off, uh, you know, one of the first Twitch cons after everything that's gone down in the world with, like, lockdown and everything, I think that we're still in sort of the hangover of people trying to figure out how to go about their day in public and in society. And a lot of people, the lockdown was not very good for their social skills. And we have a lot of, especially streamers out there, who are a little bit newer and don't really know how to navigate the spaces without coming off as complete fucking jackasses. And it drives me crazy, just as, as an old person who's been in this stupid industry for a decade now. Um, I, I do not like a lot of the energy that's in the space a lot of times. It's a huge reason why I keep to myself, why my friend circle is incredibly selected it, like small circle of friends because I just I don't have the energy I'm too old to get caught up in drama I don't care about that I just want to make content and I want to make a cool space for like fun people to hang out and, and have a good time and like forget about shit going on in the world that's all my content ever has been that's all my channels ever have been so like I am a little bit worried that we're going to take that element of like socially inept like uh, megalomaniac like narcissists and throw them into a city known for debauchery with 24-7 gambling and access to alcohol. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about that part of it, especially because there are multiple horror stories every year from TwitchCon in San Diego and at every other big convention. Um, people just don't know how to fucking behave. And that's there's always going to be that element, I think, especially when these conventions mingle with the general public as well. Because not everyone comes from the same world or has the same set of principles. And that's already going to be some sort of social friction. But when you add in temptation of not great elements, uh, I think it does worry me a bit about what's coming up. So I hope that if you decide to go because you're like, oh, Brian's gone. That's cool. Maybe I can like meet Brian. Um, you absolutely. I, I would love to do that. Uh, but I will let you know that it's not going to be like, hey, guys, we're going to be meeting up, doing community meetup at, like, a bar, and I'm going to, like, buy everyone drinks and shit. 
I don't even want to take that fucking risk. Um, if we do a meetup for the community, it's going to be like an all ages thing. It's going to be, uh, we're going to meet in this area of like the show floor, like the lobby of this hotel where it's like nice and quiet. And we can like vibe and you guys can meet me and we can talk and you can take pictures if you want. Uh, you know, if you want me to sign stuff, whatever, cool. And we can just chill in that area and it's going to be like super low key and nice and like just not awful. <laughs> uh, so that that's that's how my TwitchCon is going to go. Uh, I'm going to, you know, go on the show floor. I'm going to probably attend some panels, do whatever. Um, I don't know. I'll maybe reach out to Twitch, see if I, I doubt I'm not a big enough personality on this website yet to, I think, get like a panel or get any sort of like special guest stuff like I normally do at like PAX and other places where, you know, I've been doing like panels and stuff for years. But uh, I'm, I'm going to try to arrange my own thing that is going to be as curated and safe and chill as humanly possible. Um, so, yeah. Uh, they need an anti-TwitchCon con, like an anti-prom. <laughs> People didn't know how to behave at cons before the pandemic. Yeah, right? With three years of social skill erosion and the Vegas effect, it's going to be... Yeah, I'm, I'm very nervous about some of it. Um, I'm mainly just... Again, like, if you do see me on the con floor, uh, there's going to be a good chance that I'm, like, on my way somewhere, headed somewhere, meeting up with people, etc., uh, so it's going to be the, one of those probably like quick like, hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah. Hey, super nice to meet you. Let's talk for a couple minutes and then I got to get going uh, type of things. Um, except for where I know I'm going to have a little bit more control curating like a like a meet and greet somewhere. Um, so that's the way that it's going to go for me. That's that's how my TwitchCon is going to go. Uh, I know that's not going to be the case for everyone, but I can't control everyone else. So I'm going to control the space. I'm going to control the energy that I can. And make sure that it's as safe and um, approachable for the community as possible. So that that's going to be it. Anyway, uh, rants aside, me being an old fucking content boomer, <laughs> my rant aside, uh, that one was that one was actually a lot quicker than I thought. Hit me with another one, chat. One that you think is going to be hard, and com but also comfortable for everyone. You know. And then we can, we can see what's going on, you know? Chicken, t chicken tendies to Supernova. Let me see if they even have a chicken tenders. Wait, <laughs> chicken tendies? Oh, it's a song. Chicken fingers? I guess that would count, right? To Supernova, because Nightmare, I did like that one a lot. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2 to Bermuda Triangle. Oh, that one would be kind of fun. <laughs> the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand to Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let me do it. Okay, that one's good. I fucking love that one. That's fucked up, but it's amazing. Um, <laughs> I, we're gonna do okay. We're gonna do Nymerias and Twilights. Uh, I'm gonna do Nymerias first though. So Chicken Fingers to Supernova, just because I'm I'm curious to see if we can do this one. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this. Because it, look at, just look at the communities that you spend your time in. What do you mean? What do you mean you don't know why you're like this? You've been exposed. I, I am like, I'm like radiation. <laughs> I, will di I'll, I will disease your mind. It's, oh boy. All right. <laughs> All right. Chicken fingers. Uh, Because it's basically chicken tenders. Yeah, it even says chicken tenders right here. And we're trying to get to a black hole. I believe. So, I think... Or Supernova. Supernova. Why did I say Supernova like I was Australian at the end of that one? Hi, mate. Supernova. You know how it is. Nyx, what's up? Hello. Hi. How you doing? Good to see you here. Can we get a shout out for Nyx as well? Thank you so much for joining. Why did I call you Nyx? This is the Corey effect. Nyx did this. <laughs> I... Oh my god, so hello! <laughs> it's because Corey called you that yesterday, and I was like, yeah, that's weird. I've never ever called Sophie. I've never called Sophie Nix in my life. I've always called Sophie Sophie. And Morgan and I were talking about like when you were like a shaky little teenager and you met us in the, the Buffalo uh like mall or wherever. 
I don't remember where we were. But you met us at a mall because I was like, hey, I'm at this mall. And you were like, oh, my God, I also live in New York State. I'm going to come travel and see you. And, like, your mom, like, dropped you off or whatever. And <laughs> and you're like, hi. And you're wearing the, the Baby Blue Crank Gameplays t-shirt. And we got a little picture together. We had a little hug. He said, hi, Sophie. It's nice to meet you, finally. Morgan and I here are here in a mall for our anniversary. <laughs> it was very cute. Yes, Morgan's right. It was a very cute. It was a, it was a meet cute. No, it was very cute. Um... So, I'm sorry I used your government name. I did not mean to do that. We are trying to get from Chicken Fingers to <laughs> Supernova, which I had said Supernova, uh, like an Aussie, like an absolute Aussie, which, you know, good day, mate. My head is in my hands. I'm so embarrassed over that. What do you mean? We're all children. I was so awkward back then. It's very funny that you are implying that you are less awkward now. Anyway, nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. Champagne supernova in the sky. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why, my? All right, we got Manchester. Manchester, New Hampshire, my. All right, Manchester. Probably named after Manchester in England. Uh, what does it, the UK own? Uh, the UK used to use Australia, Australia as a prison colony, I believe, because they, uh, the UK kind of sucks. I mean, they have a history of being very problematic colonizers, and it's why like 13 different countries have like, like celebrate being free from them. Like, who who wants to be a part of that? You know, All right, Northwest England, regions of England, England. Tim Hortons has changed me. You're more powerful because of Tim Hortons. That's what handling Tim bits every day will do to you. You'll become a god. I think what changed you is you played ranked Valorant and you went, oh my god, if these weird e-boys can't break me as a person, nothing can. You know? I'm less anxious, I fear nothing. Amazing. Good to hear. Happy. I'm happy for you. Governance. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna find. We're gonna find. Places that they owned. Regions. Counties, districts. Okay, wait. Regions. There, there has to be like a, a whole like colony section, right? Maybe I should go back to the US for that. Because then I can look at. Was like U.S. history was a colony of England, and then like list of English col like former English colonies. Actually, never played rank. I played unranked. God bless you. You have maintained a part of your sanity that I wish I could have back. Oh my God. Culture. What culture? <laughs> Doesn't season their food. Am I right, fellow Americans? <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, where where the hell is uh there, there has to be like a war crimes area right uh, of like history of England okay here we go <laughs> find mention of the UK yes yeah yeah I think I think that will be good I think that will be good I think this might be good too though history of England I played Valorant uh oh, I played rank to see where I'd place and I got gold too and then never touched comp again uh, I will let you know, placing gold 2 is a lot better than a majority of people who touch the game. So, you're actually, you're actually cracked. Culture, hardly know her. Oh my god. Thank you for filling in for Bree with that one, cutie. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hundred Years War. Okay, okay, here we go. The Kingdom of France. Invaded and conquered England. The Normans did. And then the Stone Age happened. Later, prehistory happened, and the Atlantic trade system created a cultural con continuum over a large part of Western Europe. The Celtic languages developed to spread to England as part of this system. So there you go, all of you who like St. Patrick. Generic markers of bell breaker, beaker migration. By the way, uh, I just realized I slipped into like ADHD narration here. Um, 
Again, I look at Wikipedia multiple times a day, and this is just what Morgan hears. What you just heard me do into the microphone of just being like, ah, yes, the kilt, yes, yeah, yeah. You know, like, that, I, that's just me talking aloud throughout the day, like, looking at my phone screen. So, welcome, welcome to Morgan's life. Uh, Amanda, take care. Thank you so much for hanging out. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Let's go over here. We got Exeter. The Anglo Saxons. Hmm. English unification. Ooh. Alfred of Wessex. Honestly, heard you slip into that accent and my brain instantly shut off. <laughs> uh. The remains of the Roman bats at Bath. Uh, there was a recreation of a recreation of the Roman bats. Wait, we like just rebuilt them over and over. Oh my god! I mean, that's what happens when things are like really old, though. They like fall apart. Modern England. Wait, formation of the UK. Yeah, we got to do the UK because they're the ones who they really went after the world. Yes. United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. Okay, colonies, please. History. Oh, wait. Wrong part of the song. <laughs> we want to recreate the Roman bath, though? That's the real question. I like a good bath. I wash my legs. All right. You did the assassination of Franz Ferdinand in Minecraft in 10 clicks? Damn. I am not going to... This is definitely not going to be that few for me. Okay. Commonwealth. Ah, yes. The Commonwealth. All right. Where, where's the... I wasn't reading anything. So, um... Ottoman controlled economies of many regions. Informal empire. Oh, God. Hmm. 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 Ah, yes, the Commonwealth. Okay, geography. There's, wait, they have to, like, talk about, there's no way that they don't talk about, like, largest empire, was the largest empire in history. Former colonies. Wait, 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 let's go. Chat, I just did something really ADHD. <laughs> I'm gonna end the stream here. No. <laughs> I got so fixated on the fact that I had said supernova, like supernova, and that that was like an Australian accent in my brain. That I was looking for Australia this entire time, and nobody said a thing. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Okay, anyone who's like, oh, ADHD is not that bad. It doesn't interfere with your with your life and your performance or anything. Holy shit. <laughs> this happens to me multiple times a day, by the way. This is like what happens. Um, Morgan will be like, oh, I wonder, I wonder what that's uh, about. And I'll be like, oh, don't worry. I'll look it up. I'll Google it. And then I'll Google it. And then I'll like start talking to her. And I'll be like, Oh, did you know, by the way, that, like, uh, they're, they, they're coming up with this, like, new science for, like, making oat milk. And she'll be like, what does that have to do with what I was asking? Because my brain went down a Wikipedia hole. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought you were looking for a space telescope or something. No, not at all. 
Not at all. Not even close. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's uh, I'm fucked up. All right. <laughs> there it is. There's us. We found Australia. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Your therapist will hear about this. Yeah. Oh god. That's so funny. That's actually so funny that that happened. Oh my god. All right, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. We have to go back. Oh my god. Why did I do this? There's like 50 fucking. Oh god. Manchester, New Hampshire, where they invented chicken tenders, by the way, is the most popular city in the U.S. state of New Hampshire. I did not even know this was a city. So in northern New England, Manchester. Okay, we'll go back to the source. Holy goddamn shit, chat. That was uh. Woo! <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So uh, wait. I want to go back to that New Hampshire. I'm going straight to. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh wait. Oh, I went northern the United States. Uh, I want to go to U.S. I want to go uh, to. Ah, uh, God. I want to go to uh, southern New United States, where they have uh, NASA. Uh, we're going to go to um, Texas. Once I find Texas in the southern United States, I'm going to find Texas. Go to Houston. <laughs> Jesus. Everyone knows Australia is located in space. You cannot name a city in New Hampshire, and I've never been... And I've been there several times. Yeah, that's true. I was sitting here thinking, man, Brian really do be going across the globe for this, but not space. Wild. <laughs> Uh, looking for Australia reminds me of the period of time when people were denying that Australia was real. Very true. Oh, Jesus Christ, chat. Wow, that was like absolutely... Holy shit. That was a lot. That was just so much. Oh, my God. All right. Um. Ah, God, Texas. Okay, Texas. Oh, God. All right. Houston. Houston. We have a problem. It's my brain. It doesn't work anymore. Holy Christ. I was trusting in the process. You got the last one so fast. <laughs> I did. I got the last one. I got the I got to Amazon Prime so fast. And then this just I I don't know why this <laughs> I went to Australia. Oh god. <laughs> and, and you can ask Morgan. This happens to me. Pretty regularly. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I was distracted when you picked the prompt, so I just assumed you're going in the right direction. Oh, God. Yeah, the, the fact no one said a thing about that the whole time. You guys are, are you're too nice. You're too kind. All right, we got the cityscape. All right, where is... Mention of NASA. The NASA Houston, we have a problem. Oh, God. I'm going to throw up. Earlier today, you said a lot of people think that actor is different. Not just me. And I was like, where did this come from? Because we were talking about something else. Oh, uh, don't look at me. I didn't even realize. <laughs> oh, good Lord. I scrolled past it twice. No way. No way I did. Oh, God. We, and I have to get, I still have to get the like space and then supernova and then, geez. Uh, it's all gonna be okay. <laughs> oh, God. My brain is, I'm, my, you, Chad, you have literally no idea how like bizarre my brain feels right now making that realization. <laughs> All right, Phillips uh, counting um, Astros um, Toyota Center. I'm surprised. Where is this shit? Space Center. Okay, Lyndon B. Johnson. Here we go. Space. Holy crap! That took a journey to get there. We pinged off of Australia and then blasted up into space. So, <laughs> God. What made you realize it? 
I, that's just how ADHD does is occasionally you just like zone back into consciousness. I, I, I think um, what helped snap me out of it was uh, I've been trying to catch when I've been doing those weird stream of consciousness like all right my yeah the thermosphere let's go oh below it you always got the mesosphere and the stratosphere and like me realizing like oh shit I've, 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 i was doing a weirdo ramble like adhd ramble made me go oh my god i am i i just walked i i meant to walk into walmart and for some reason i'm in auto zone looking at like car tires like <laughs> oh god that that was that was a lot. <laughs> so much. Okay. So, big bang. Um. <laughs> God. Stars. Okay. Life cycle of a star. We definitely have to have supernovas in here. Um, active life thermonuclear fusion. Uh, white dwarf. Naran star. Um. Black hole. Uh, supernova. There we go. That was that one would have been so easy too if I had just had used my brain. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> anyway, if you have uh, ADHD that is... If you are as... <laughs> debilitatingly neurodivergent as me you too could uh make a job where you just talk into a microphone on the internet you too could get make a career out of being a an idiot publicly oh my god that was just so much do vinyl to lost morgan you're just naming things in our living room <laughs> also though wait um who was it I said I there was someone else that I had in the queue first though. Uh <laughs> God. All right, chat after that one. I do not deserve a break. What was the one? What was the one that Twilight had? Twilight had a really good one. I think it was like the uh assassination of Archduke Ferdinand, which is um just <laughs> Listen, it happened in 1914. It's not insensitive, okay? It's just a piece of history to Minecraft. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, to Minecraft. Oh my god, chat. Oh, my brain feels like it is made out of putty. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's make sure I don't get off track completely by... <laughs> oh, boy, howdy. That is... That was a lot. Okay, I'm gonna do... Uh, World War One. Uh, I'm gonna do United States because the United States is where uh, Microsoft is based and uh, it has um, uh, that it owns Mojang now there we go those are the words <laughs> don't speak in an Australian accent we should be fine <laughs> oh god oh god Good lord. <laughs> that's a great way to put it, Feng. Uh, you grew up like one of the cats that's only been around rabbits. Yeah. You're so hyped for this. I can't I can't wait to see if this works out. Um, what's the goal here? GK Nation, what up? Uh, so I am given two uh two different phrases or things that are Wikipedia articles. They have to be blue link Wikipedia articles um, that are unlike each other. And go from the first one to the second by only clicking blue link uh, article links in Wikipedia. So, yeah. Okay. Holy Christmas. Okay. Um, okay. United States, 50 states. Uh, trying to think. California has some of the highest number of, like, video game studios. Wait. Universal Studios. They're gonna... They make video games, too. They got video games. Um... Universal Pictures. 
Film library. Okay, I'm just going to click a random film that I know has like a video game. The Thing had one of the worst video games of all time. Easily one of the worst video games of all time. Um, good lord. Have you conquered all the wiki challenges? Uh, no, I've had a couple conquer me, actually. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like my kind of ADHD rabbit hole. You are absolutely right then. This is all I do even when I'm not on stream. So you guys are literally just here giving me your time uh, to watch me do what I would I would be doing uh, at my own computer. Like all day long. I would I, I just do this at my own computer on my phone all day long. You guys are, are here doing that. Other media. Okay. Novelization, toys. Um, where's the video game? Where's the video game? There's a PS2 game that was, like, dog shit. Oh, come on. Where's the video game? Okay, I'm going back. I'm going back. Okay. Huh? Wait, where, was that, where was that list of films? Did I accidentally hit back? Oh, I hit back too many times. Alright. Where's, like, uh, a newer one? That I know has like a video. Oh, wait. Here's video games. Okay, Nintendo. Video games. Uh, it's got to mention like the biggest. It's got to mention like. You got Nintendo, Sega, Sony. Where's Microsoft? Absolutely has to mention Microsoft in here. No way at all they don't mention Microsoft. Once we find Microsoft, it's gold. It's on. We win. Okay, we have. Merlin? Oh, these are like early video games, I see. Oh my god, chat. I'm like, after <laughs> after all of that, holy cow. Wow. That was, there, just so much happened. Oh, PC games. Uh, yeah, we go to PCs. Why is it only mentioning PlayStation and not Microsoft? Wait, PlayStation might be like rival to the Xbox. Rival to the Xbox. Inception, um, Legacy, Reception. Hmm. There's gotta be. There's gotta be a mention of like in the U.S. It is rivaled by. Microsoft's Xbox 360. Why do I only reference the Xbox 360? That system's like 15 years old now, right? <laughs> it's like they've released like three Xboxes since then. Okay, we have the Dream. The Dreamcast is mentioned, but not the Xbox. I know, I, I know that it wasn't, like, a big competitor in, like, Japan. Wait, 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 wait. Metal Gear Solid later was released on the Xbox. Microsoft Windows. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We win. I win. I win. I'm about to win. I'm about to win. Where is it? Where is it that it, it bought? Oh my god. Acquired Mojang. It has to be in here. Xbox One? Mojang! Oh wait! Minecraft was right there! Another one down, baby! Where's the winning button? I found it! Holy cow, chat. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> oh my god oh i feel like i got hit in the head with uh with a sledgehammer during that oh god voracious violet that's a pretty good path too that's a good one. Oh my god all right hey we did it those are connected now <laughs> 
can't believe I I literally still cannot believe uh that first one. That was rough. Uh okay, what what did Morgan want? Vinyl? Like records, vinyl records? Like phonograph record, I guess. Um to uh, the show Lost. So yeah, to the show Lost. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah, Twilight, now we know the connection, the deep connection between those two things. We can even make a pit stop in Australia. Not this time. All right. Um, let's see if I can do this one. To the TV show Lost. Okay. Digital media. Right there. Uh, studio audio. Uh, it's like TV. Spotify, YouTube, okay. Um, podcast, songs, compact disc. I was hoping this was gonna have like DVD in it. Oh, this is just digital audio. What am I talking about? Bree, get some good rest. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'm going back to the the first one. Uh. Sound storage medium. Data storage. Okay. Probably do electronic media. There we go. I think that's what my brain was thinking. I was clicking before. Video. Okay. So we're going to find TV in here for sure. History of television. Here we go. Cable TV. Okay. History in North America. At the outset, cable systems only served smaller communities without television stations of their own. Oh, that's so wild. So you would get cable preference if you didn't already have TV stations. You could not easily receive signals from stations in cities because of distance or hilly terrain. In Canada, hey Canadians, communities with their own signals were fertile cable markets as viewers wanted to receive American signals. So you got to grow up with some American TV. Rarely, as in the college town of Alfred, New York, this is why I read this, is because I literally, one of my best friends in high school went to Alfred. Uh, U.S. cable stations retransmitted Canadian channels. That is actually very true. Rochester actually got some some Canadian programming when I was growing up. All right, cool. That was neat. All right. History of North America. So it's got it's got to talk about like the monopolization, and then it's got to give me ABC, which is obviously a list of cable television companies. Okay. Multiple system operators. Disney owns ABC We're back at Disney. Dis at Disney's wait. Disney does own ABC, right? Yeah. Disney owns ABC, right? Yeah, okay. I'm doing that one. Walt Disney, uh, Walt Disney Studios, Searchlight, 20th Animator. Thought Disney owned Fox? I think they own both now, right? Is it cheating to use Control F? Yes. Um. Hmm. I could have sworn. Does Disney not own ABC? I could have sworn they bought ABC in, like, the 2000s or, like, the 2010s or something. All right. Well, we're going to start here. We're scrolling through. Because I could have sworn. Could have sworn. Disney does own ABC. Okay. ESPN and ABC. Yeah, 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 yeah. ABC. Capital Cities. ABC. Here we go. ABC company. Okay. What are your famous TV shows? Programming. 
List of programs broadcast. Okay. <laughs> Easy, dude. Easy. It's going to be right here. D dramas. Okay. Uh, Non-scripted. Specials. Game shows. Soap operas. Award shows. Talk shows. Late night shows. Film presentations. Upcoming. Wait, what? Oh, this is. Oh, former. Okay, here we go. Easy. 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 What? Oh, action adventure. Drama. Lost is in here for sure. 100 million percent. I bet uh, nothing on it because it's not in there. What the fuck? Wait. Science fiction. It's got. Oh, Lost is right there. I'm going to gritty to this song. I did it. There it is. I done did it. I done did it, chat. Pretty good. All right. Hit me with another. Hit me with some other combos. That one wasn't too bad. I It was kind of nice because I had media to go into other media with. Apple bottom jeans to ceiling fan. Is apple bottom jeans even a thing in here? Nope. Unless you're talking about the song. Low. Antarctica to Kazuki Takahashi? Oh my god. Kazuki Takahashi. What? Wait, what has... I don't know mangakas very well. Um, what is Kazuki Takahashi known for? They had a page for the Apple Bottoms brand. Oh, did they? Oh, they did. Okay, I, I don't know why I just immediately went Apple Bottom jeans, boots with the fur. You get, oh my God, why did I forget that? Holy shit. Just, he, he just passed like last year too, right? Really sad. Um, I don't know why I forgot his name there. Uh, probably because my brain got zapped because I went to Australia. <laughs> Literally work with Konami, Brian. What are you doing? Okay, I'm going to do Antarctica to Kazuki Takahashi just because uh, that sounds like a challenge. Combo's the snack to Mortal Kombat. Luigi to Masochism? Oh, God. I don't want to do a Masochism article. Oh, God. All right, Antarctica. Antarctica to Kazuki Takahashi. All right. We're going to go to... Well, no. There's gonna be there's gonna be like a the U.S. did this. Australian tourism governed by thirty countries, seven sovereign states. Okay, United Kingdom, United States. Okay, wait, why did I do that? What Japan? It's right there. Okay, one billion. Enjoy your lurk. Okay. Hmm, anime, manga. Okay, we got manga. We got manga. We have manga magazines. Hmm, okay, manga artists. Okay. Now cut to coochies <laughs> mentioned here. Oh. Oh no. Um Fist and North Star Death Note Hmm A list of manga artists? Oh my god, this feels like it's cheating. I, I, I I don't think this counts as cheating because it's a blue link, right? Weekly Shonen Jump was on the last page. Yeah, I feel like that would be less cheaty. I'll, I'll do Shonen Jump just because, like, yeah. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's way better, yeah. I do love Weekly Shonen Jump. Wait, there's all these listed here, too. 
Although that would be... That just insta-win, right? Where is Weekly Shonen Jump? Oh, here it is. Literally at the top. Okay. That is way less cheaty in my opinion. Was Yu-Gi-Oh! published by Shonen Jump? I think in America they did a run of it. I could be wrong, but either way, what's going to happen here is I'm going to go, Oh, cool. It's uh, it's Shonen Jump. Uh, they straight up have like a ton of um, like, oh, wow. I guess I can just click like one piece oh one piece oh cool related media they have a card game trading card game ooh trading card game i have it was in the weekly jump serial yeah okay i thought that it was because i'm pretty sure i read it in that too because i i used to subscribe to shonen jump back in the day so we got card game and then we got Yu-Gi-Oh! And then we got Kazuki Takahashi, baby. There it is. And it felt a lot less uh a lot less cheap to do it that way instead of looking at the list. But we did it! We did it! There it is. Antarctica to Kazuki Takahashi. That one wasn't too bad. All right. I think, um, I know this is a, a shorter stream tonight, guys, but I think, like, my back is starting to hurt, probably because I was walking around Walmart for two hours today. I'm getting kind of tired because Morgan and I have been trying to go to bed a lot earlier. So I think I'm actually probably going to wind down here. Um, I was having a blast hanging out with everyone. Uh, this was fun. I don't know if people want more of this in future streams. Got to Japan faster than you. I was like, yo, who uh, who messes around in Ar Antarctica? Oh, yeah, every other country because it doesn't have, like, a sovereign government. So, that was pretty fun. I liked it. I hope you guys like I love this. Good. I'm glad. Um, if you guys want to do more of this in the future, definitely not out of the question. I think that uh, on Thursday when I stream again, I will most – this was fun. I'm so glad to hear that. So glad that people thought so. I think Thursday I'm probably going to continue Rise of the Tomb Raider for real this time. Obviously, we didn't get to it on Sunday because of uh, just having fun watching stuff together, which was a blast. I can't believe... Man, I, I cannot believe that I was almost broken by the one that I had to try to find Fork with. And then <laughs> just a couple after that, or like one after that, my brain just like went into out that was the most adhd moment i've ever had on stream i hope that that was fun to witness because <laughs> that was that was it was fun it was a good time it was pretty wild um gonna head to bed myself i'm starting to get so i'm so sorry to hear that chronic please 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 uh feel better rest up um it's very fun thank you for the stream and the edutaining wikipedia adventures hope you and morgan get some good rest thank you i appreciate that we've both been like super tired today so i think i'm just gonna call it a little bit earlier tonight uh, tomorrow, obviously, I don't stream, but I do have some other work I'm going to get done. And then Thursday, uh, I'll be back super refreshed. We'll do Rise of the Tomb Raider. Hopefully, start beating that. And then maybe Friday for Femme Friday, maybe I'll start up. Um, maybe I'll do Femme Friday then again because uh, I did get something in the mail or I'm I have to order one more piece for it, but I have a majority of the Ada Wong cosplay. Uh, depends on like when things arrive, so like hopefully sometime this weekend. And then Resident Evil 4, maybe? I don't know if people are tired of that game, because I know a lot of people have been playing it. Um, but I think it would be kind of neat to do a little bit of Resident Evil 4 on the channel. You guys have been begging me for a very long time, and I have not been obliging like a courteous individual. Um, you've been wanting to see more horror content. So I might do some more horror games starting up soon. So, uh, yeah. Just finished it last night. They did such a good job with the remake. Yeah, I've watched a little bit of it. Um, just because 
you know, it's, a, it's an old game, and I I've used to watch my college roommate beat it like every other day when we were in college. Um, but uh, I'm very excited. It looks like they did a fantastic job updating it. Love mommy Ada. <laughs> I love watching folks play it. Okay, I I also hope that my playthrough will be unique enough because I I get scared by my sub alerts. Um, I still can't believe the fart alert scared me, and I said thank you. <laughs> they finish. They flesh out the story a little more. Yeah, that's what a lot of people were saying. Is there's even better lore and stuff in it, which is great. Um, but yeah, I'm very very excited to play more horror games. Even though uh, there's a very good chance, just a, a heads up, a, a warning to anyone who watches me at a louder volume or with headphones, um, that I might explode the microphone. Uh, just because I get scared by literally everything. And even though I'm familiar with Resident Evil 4 quite a bit, I'm still going to be panicking. I'm still going to be freaking out. Uh, probably still missing shots and stuff like that. So, we'll see. If you're an OG player, they definitely use that against you. Wait, do they? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Because I'm going to be like, oh, I know this little window here. I know what jumps through here. And then it's not going to happen. I'm going to be like, Oh, I guess that doesn't happen. And then they're going to, like, run around the corner from the hallway or something. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that actually sucks. Oh, that's like when I wanted to do the Dead Space remake. Because I have that as well. And then uh, I read that there's randomized jump scares in the game. And I was like, uh, I don't know if I want to touch that yet. I haven't graduated up into that yet. Damn it. My old strats did not work this time. Oh, God, don't tell me these things. That sounds awful. All right. I'm getting going. Uh, let's see here. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Who is about? Who is about? I'd like to send you over to... Um. We haven't raided JSOM in a while, but JSOM is, is playing a game called Deceive, Inc., so, if you can, even if you can't stick around for the stream, would love if you stuck around at least for the raid, so that we can have as many people in the raid as possible for my friend uh, Jason Sully. Uh, if you don't know Jason, super fun entertainer, super nice guy. Definitely worth giving a follow to. Just a funny, funny lad. Um, and he's playing Deceive Inc. right now. So, if you want to keep the vibes going, I'm going to send you over to Jason. So, again, please stick around uh, just to support my boy. And even if you can't um, stick around for his stream, at least stick around to drop the raid message in his chat, please. Because I love Jason. I love hearing that guy go, ah! You know, like stuff like that. Anyway, this is going to be, yeah, J, J, A, Sam! <laughs> Australia. Oh, my God. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for the follows, bid subs, resubs, gifted subs, donations. Everything that came through allows me to keep doing what I'm doing. I appreciate all the support lately. Uh, so, so kind of everyone for hanging out and laughing along. I hope that tonight was entertaining. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will uh, hopefully uh, be less <laughs> in outer space next stream. Um, but thank you very, very much, everybody. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for vibing. Thank you for your energy. I got to come up with a good uh, raid message for my guy, Jason. Um, ooh, here we go. Oh, here we go. This is a good one. This is a good one. Okay. JSOM Sully. Copy, copy, paste. JSOM, we yell your name. And again, stick in the raid, please, even if you gotta bounce right away like I do. Um, obviously, bigger number... Happier friend. Just more of a reminder that lots of people love him and want to see him do his best. Uh, a sentiment that, you know, if I'm eating good, all my friends are type of thing. Um, even when it, when it comes to supporting, like, my larger friends like Jason, please, please, please stick around for the raid. Uh, and then if you got to bounce right after, feel free to do so. But uh, I'd like us to at least go support the crap out of him. Anyway... Thank you again, chat. Thank you so much for um, just everything. All the all the chats, all the laughs, all the lurks, whatever. You spent time in this community with me, and I appreciate you for that. 
Hope you all have an absolutely wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it may be for you. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you so very much. I really, really do. Finger hearts as usual. I'm getting the raid started. I almost just wrote Jason Jelly. <laughs> this is where the brains went. Um, Thursday, I should be less tired and I should start a lot earlier because I probably won't have a million uh, errands to run and other like busy work to do before I stream. So uh, bank on an earlier stream. I, I'm, I'm gonna commit to it as hard as I can, but Raiden, my boy, please stay in the raid. Even if you can't stay for the full stream, bigger number, happier friend, more support towards someone that we appreciate a lot. Would love if people could stick in. Um, Jason has raided us a number of times and uh it's just he's just a great guy like please 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 support my friends um and this is early for me ending here anyway you guys got time i know you're awake go stay awake in jason's streams all right anyway i'll see you all over there jason we yell your name is the raid message so make sure that you drop it in his chat when we get over there i'll see you guys in the next one okay thanks everybody Appreciate y'all a ton. This was really fun. I can't wait to do more of this in the future. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.